right, there we go. Good morning, everybody. This is Crew, and we want to welcome you back to Farm Sim 22. And let's just make sure that's on. Okay, so everything should be good. <coughs> All right, guys, we are back on Green River. And we are actually getting to harvest this time. So that's a good thing. You know what I'm wondering? Let's see. Maybe... Maybe I should put... I'm trying to think of where to put our stuff. Um... No, you know what? Let's do this. But see if we can do this. I'm going to try and put the two big trailers. So these Crossetto trailers, I think I'm going to put them in the big uh, hall here for this way. I know they're going to be used for the harvesting here. So I have two of these ones out right now because we're doing a harvest. I have two of these 66,000 liters. So I think we're going to put them, I'll be able to put them side by side in here. And this one, this one's kind of specialized. Wow, hippie soul, what's up, brother? <coughs> How have you been, sir? What's happening, cuz? Good to see you, man. I hope, uh, I hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, this Grim Trailer is pretty cool. It's got a small spout on the back where you kind of tip out through like that little little door in the back of the trailer. So I'm going to use this one, or I'm going to keep it just to see if I have a need for it. Because <coughs> I like the idea that it tips out with just opening the back door there. It holds about 35 or 6,000 liters. Not too great, mate. Had illness. So, oh, well. Getting sorted out. Okay. All right, brother. Well, again, you know, continued luck. I hope things get better for you, bro. I was actually just thinking about you the other day. I forget what happened, what came up. <coughs> but I was like, alright, and today or tomorrow, I was going to send you a message. Yeah, you got to stay positive and upbeat. Yeah, and it's hard. Definitely hard, brother. But I wish you nothing but the best. Hey, what's up, Psychosis? How you doing, buddy? Hey, Psychosis, if you're available uh, today through Sunday, uh, my buddy Jaffa Munchies and I, we're going to be running Diablo 4. Um, I'm waiting on him and after the stream here. And, uh, our goal is to take care of a couple things this weekend, if we can. Um, 
number one, I at least want to get some Nightmare Dungeons run just to do them, get a feel for them, see where we need to change things, right? Yeah, I know, you got that crappy-ass landlord, bro. Okay. I wonder if the illness is anything to do with the housing. You know what I mean? Because if the illness is due to the housing, you know, maybe that's enough to go after the landlord. <coughs> but yeah, so I want to do that, and I think I want to get the strongholds this weekend. I think I want to get those knocked out. Yeah, I think this weekend it might be... I may want to work on uh, getting those things done. Put a dent into the... Um, uh, like, completing all the tasks for the areas, right? Tactical, yo, what's up, man? Oh yeah, yeah. Now nah, we're we're trying. So I was talking. Uh, well, I watch a lot of real farm videos, and I love watching real farming videos from the Netherlands. I think they do uh, tremendous work over there in, with their farming, and I'm a fan of Fent. It it on this iteration of farm sim, it's become. And I usually don't have favorites of things, but it's actually become my favorite. So I wanted to try and run things like a legitimate farm, not just have like two tractors, the biggest ones, and they, they run everything. You know what I mean? So I wanted to change it up a little bit. And yo, what's up, King? <coughs> so hey, what's up, Queen? So I wanted to try and run this more legit as far as tractors have certain functions. Um, having a particular brand because that brand works for you. And, you know, there are just some things that they do over there in the Netherlands. And it was funny because we had a friend of ours, Yeet, uh, that came in. He hadn't been in a while, but he came in yesterday or the day before. And uh, he was like, oh, man, he's like, wait a second, are you? And I told him what I was doing, and he was like, holy smokes, bro. He's like, yo, I really appreciate that. He said, because uh, he's from the Netherlands, and he's like, you know, the fact that you're going to try and do some kind of play style similar to how they do things over there, uh, particularly Tenhova, um, he was like, man, that's really cool. You know, I appreciate that. So we're going to do the best we can. You know, it's not going to be perfect because there's a lot of things that, you know, you can't do in the game. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to try and get as close as we can. But it was really cool to, uh, you know, to have him recognize it and, you know, realize that I'm trying to do something like that and, you know, represent over there. So, we'll see what comes of it. The biggest thing is, I'm trying to see, I want to be able to have my combine complete one row of harvest here before it has to uh, get emptied. So, I'm hoping to be able to get the return trip for the emptying of the combine and this field is pretty much the longest field that I think I'm going to have for standard crop right now um, so I figured I would you know try it out over here see how that goes <coughs> uh, let's see we got to ride over and pick up our new trailer so this new trailer I'm picking up is going to be a second trailer for
for our grass collecting. It's a Bergman old, what was it, uh, 56, I think it's 56,000 liters. Now, normally when we would do uh, big stuff like silage and potatoes and whatnot, we would go with really, really large, you know, <coughs> trailers, 250, 300, 500,000 liters. Um, I'm not going to do that because, again, that's not what's done on the real in the real world, right? So... Hydrate. Copy that. Thank you, Queen. <coughs> so, I'm not going to do that here. And if I have to make a lot of trips, you know, so be it. And I'm not going to be running grass, you know, like every day. So, that should help with the, um, you know, repetitive nature of it. But in the end, it is farming, so, you know, there is a, it's like anything else, right? Repetition is pretty much everything. If you go fishing, it's repetitive. If you play Call of Duty, it's repetitive. If you drive a car, it's repetitive. <laughs> if you run a UPS truck, it's repetitive, right? So, everything is of repetitive nature so you never get away from things being too repetitive but there are some things that just get very arduous because it's like ugh, I'm so bored of this <laughs> you know but uh, you know we'll see I, the one thing I'm just a little saddened by is that so when I'm going to do the forage harvesting of the grass you know, as I ride along and collect the grass, uh, once I leave, you know, typically in real life, you would have another trailer pull up and, you know, he continues on his way, but I won't have that because the workers won't follow. That's why I wish we had the follow me mod. I don't know if you guys remember the follow me mod on FS17. That follow me mod was really, really awesome. Because you could have the trailer then follow the forage wagon. And I hate when I turn jerky like that, but sometimes turning with the controller stick is very <coughs> sensitive. Yeah, so if you guys remember yesterday, Swede and I, um, I put together the silage area. So we have about, what was it, 32 or 36,000 liters of silage that we're going to have to to do. Uh, let's see, you know what, I'm going to keep this tractor up here just for now. Now we will have another shed that we're going to put up here and we'll get another set of tractors for just up here it'll probably be two 900s <coughs> ah see it didn't make it so 12,000 liters right let's see um That's 12, 12, 5, 12, 5, 14, 16, 17, we got 18, <laughs> 153,000 liters, so 12, 3, 18, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 
Boy, that 18's looking pretty good with the claws. That changes down to 15. Okay, we don't want to do that. Well, I think we might go and change up. We might go with the claws here. Because then we'll definitely definitely make, let's see, do we want to do that? Yeah, I think we should, huh, guys? And I know Klaus is pretty big over in the Netherlands, too. I can use the same header. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because we are making the fields big. So, it's worth it. Hey, B-Mac, how you doing, buddy? What's up, pal? How things going? Doing well? Awesome, brother. Awesome. Good to see you. Yeah, because then I think we won't have any issues other than, you know, maybe stepping away or getting involved in something else and not staying on it. You know what I mean? But outside of that, I think we should we should be okay. Okay, so let's go. Uh, where are they at? Up here. Here we go. So let's go ahead and sell these. Okay. <coughs> All right. our new combines guys now let's hope he makes it over this bridge I did put the wider tires on there I don't know if that was a good idea or not okay just made it Jeff Rue, what's up, buddy? And you guys are cruising through chat, baby. Appreciate it. Hope you're all doing great. It's good to see everyone. Iron Maiden coming in with the follow. What's up, Iron Maiden? And I still got your hydrate, Queen. I'm going to get that in a second. Iron Maiden, thank you for coming in with that follow. One of my favorite bands out there. How you been, buddy? Great to see you. She, she, how you doing? What's going on, guys? Great to see everyone. Happy Friday to you. So, guys, uh, I'm going to try tonight, if I can, to 
It's going to depend on if we're going to have a group for Diablo 4. Uh, but I may try to do a stream tonight if I can. Um, I, you know, my goal is to try that. If not, we'll definitely be on tomorrow. Um, trying to see what my buddy Jaffa uh, is able to do today. So I'm just waiting for him to get home from work. And <coughs> he's over in the UK, so uh, the time difference there. He should be getting home soon, I imagine. And then, uh, oh, man, look at that thing. That is beautiful. Oh, we need to enable. No, 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 no. Enable straw sloth. Getting better there, Queen? All right. Glad to hear it. All right. Let's bring this back to the shop or to the yard. But yeah, if we can get a Diablo stream in tonight, that'd be cool. If we don't, you know, no big deal. Um, definitely should be able to get one tomorrow. I know tomorrow he's available all day, so, you know, you guys have been really supportive for me on Diablo 4 as well, and I appreciate that because, you know, I was taking a risk in getting that game early because I wanted to try and really tap into, uh, you know, the community with that game and hopefully we can we can do that i'd like to get some new people from that community you know we'll have to see how that goes fluffy trucker yo what's up fluff how you doing buddy how you been man i haven't seen you in a few days hope you're doing well <clears throat> All right, I think we're good. We've been doing some tests on the harvest, what trailers I wanted to use, what tractor. I think I can do okay with the uh, 900 series for this trailer. I don't think it'll be too heavy, but to, uh, to be determined, I wanted to try out a couple different combines, and I think we... I think we found the best one for us now. <clears throat> so, we're going to give it a run, see how it goes. Is the sound and everything coming through okay for you guys? Yeah, so we went with the uh, Gloss tractor, or Gloss combine. Holds 18,000 liters. So I think, and you know, for this uh, playthrough that we're doing, you know, I think it's uh, really good. 8900 Lexi, and we got the Airflex, Airflex Honey Bee 230 header. It actually has a canola header for butter side. Not sure what their purpose is. Um, I'll have to look that up. But. Combine. I'm pleased with it. So what we'll do is, yep, yeah, the kids got to be at church by eleven. Yeah, it's no problem. They're right down the street. So. What? Yeah, they're right down the street. I can use that as a break. Take them down there. <coughs> All right. So what we'll do is my goal was to have there be enough room. Wow, look at that. So I can actually go just to the outside of the row. Let's see. Set it at six. Actually got to go down. Up. Speedometer likes to hit seven. 
times when you put it on six. You actually have to come down the five and then go back up. Doing good. Got a day off with the little one today. Oh, that's awesome, Fluffy. That is awesome. So my goal is to run this like this. So have him follow along and empty on the way down, on the way back up, let him run, turn. All right, so that's why I was working with what trailer selection and combine selection I wanted to use. The biggest thing is getting him from one end to the other on the opposite side so that I don't have to, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about backing them up and, you know, offloading. So we'll see how it goes. Once we get to the bottom here, we should have a full clean row for him to do. Cool. Thank you, Queen. And I like this view, too. I wish that box right here wasn't in the way. I could actually see the combine boom a little bit better. We're looking pretty good. Looks like I forgot my cooler unless I have stuff in there. You know, the munchies to get them. I would just love to know what it's like to, I mean, imagine going out on the field. You're in the tractor, pulling the trailer. <coughs> Maybe you have another person in another trailer, right? You got your guy in the combine. I would just love to know what it's like to just be out all day <coughs> in the field, just, you know, sitting in the tractor or the combine, you know, just cruising six miles an hour. There's some combines, they're only running about three miles an hour. So the fact that we're getting six is, you know, a bonus. But it just, it'd be cool, you know, just have your... Uh, I don't know if, you know, they can play music in there while they're doing their thing or not. I imagine they could. All right, I'm going to go offload. This way we'll have a clean trailer. But, I mean, it, it must be so cool. You know, bring your, bring, uh, I don't know if that little seat right there. I'm thinking that's some kind of storage. I don't know if it's a cold storage. But being able to bring, like, uh, a cooler in there filled with some food and drink, you know, that'd be kind of neat. And I feel like I should move this around. I feel like I should put that closer to the other side. I may have to redo this. Oh, and i got to put a front weight on there. I think his wheels are spinning. Oh, cool. So this is, <coughs> so it is a standard tipper. Okay, so it's a gravity fed. I thought it was going to be a belt fed. Snacks, I know, right? I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I may redo that at some point when I sell all that out. All right, let's go get a front weight for this. I feel like those wheels tipped up. So we got the weight on the back there. How'd you sleep? Good. So we're going to head out, you know, what, like quarter of 11, 10 of 11, I guess. What do you think? Okay. And, uh, um, that's 
say, y'all. Alright, so we're going to see if he'll, let's get a save in, and let's jump in there. So far, I think, more than halfway, right? Oh yeah. So I think we're going to be good. We're at 40%. He's got way less than 50% of this row to do, so I think that's going to be a, a winner. Baby, can you, can you, So that's going to be perfect. That's what I wanted. Good. So how's everybody doing today? I know it's early. It's Friday. I know it's uh, the end of the week. But sometimes Fridays, for some, can be, feel like a Monday. You know? You're just like, oh, it's the last day of the week. I just want to get through it. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys are doing great. My, uh... Two youngest kids are leaving today at 11. I got to bring them right down the street to our church. Uh, they're heading up to the Pocono Mountains with the church youth. They're going to spend the weekend uh, at some kind of, uh, it's like, it's not really a camp, it, but it was supposed to be a camp. But apparently the camp thing that they had set up Something fell through the cracks, and there were no more spots available. So, apparently there's a lady who owns, like, some kind of house or cabin or something up there. And it's a youth pastor? Okay. So there's another youth pastor that has, like, a house or a cabin. <clears throat> and said that they, uh, that they could stay there so that's what they're going to be doing this weekend mad jelly yo what's up mad jelly how you doing thank you for hitting that follow button been saving up for a month now to get it almost oh mad jelly thanks for the first time chat the follow <coughs> And I hope you're able to get this uh, game very soon. Are you going to be on PC or console? Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now, do you stream uh, Mad Jelly or no? Yeah, it's going to be so fun when you get it, you know. You're going to have a great time. Now, were you a farm sim player uh, on the other, like 17, 19, or is this going to be a new, a new scenario for you? Oh, you were hitting up some cod, huh? Very cool.
Now I make YouTube videos, got about 10K views, but not monetized. Okay. Oh, very cool, man. Yeah, I've been putting up a boatload of shorts for uh, COD myself on YouTube. If you want to be a part of our Discord, too, exclamation point Discord, Mad Jelly. Yeah, we've, uh, we started doing shorts about three weeks ago now. Uh, I've been, well, no, actually, I think it's been about a month. But I, I've neglected uh, doing that for like the last week and a half. I've just had so many other things I've been working on. So, but we got to get back and uh, put some more up, you know. Yeah, we're looking to get that monetization over there too, buddy. Good luck to you, man. I hope, I hope that happens quickly for you. So what, um, are you going to be playing on PC or are you going to be playing on console? Thank you for that, Queen. Oh, and uh, Queen and King, if you guys at any point when you're uh, modding, if there's anything that you have an idea about or, hey, crew, you know, I noticed uh, this is missing. Like, let's say you were going to, you know, do a shout for, I know it's not, but let's just say, you know, thank you, baby, I appreciate it. Let's just say it was um, YouTube. And you're like, oh, crew, every time we try to do, you know, exclamation point YouTube, it's not coming up. You know, send me a note in Discord. You know, maybe it's something that I messed up or, you know, forgot to add it. You know, that sort of thing. Okay? Just so you guys know that we have that, <clears throat> that connection to be able to, you know, do that back and forth if needed. So I want to make your job easier, too. That's uh, Fluffy Trucker coming in for the sub. Yo, Fluffy, what's up, brother? Dude, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that, Fluffy. It means a lot to me. You guys are incredible. All right, there we go. That worked perfect, guys. So he's able to run straight up, and I catch him on the way back down. And I could actually peel off if I wanted. I'll run it all the way down just because we're trying to do it legit, right? <coughs> cool. Thanks, King. Thanks, Queen. Guys, just so you know, too, Heavy Racing Queen and King of Big Rig Hauling, uh, awesome husband-wife team, and our brand-new members to our Crusaders stream team. So uh, we are so thankful and grateful that – they're with us and part of what we're doing in our community and the community throughout. Uh, but, you know, selfishly, uh, we're so glad that, you know, they're with us and they've become some really, really special people. And, uh, you know, I am just truly blessed and thankful that they're a part of what we do, not just in Farm Sim, because they don't even play Farm Sim. They're going to eventually, but... They, uh, they play a lot of other games. They're, they do uh, a lot of, like, variety stuff, I would say. Um, but they're just tremendous people, and we're super thankful to have them uh, as part of our group. And uh, we're better for it. So I got four ads on me. No problem, Mad Jelly. So I do have a dedicated server for through G portal um, what we're going to try and do and I hope to we did promote it a little bit but I'm hoping to promote it more yeah no I understand yep with the ads you won't hear it yep I'm going to wait we got about 10 seconds left on the ad run 
And I do apologize in advance if you guys hear me like clearing my throat or coughing. I have real bad allergies. <clears throat> and everything related to weather and the surroundings of our home. Grass, trees, ragweed, dust. Uh, when the wind blows and kicks up all this crap, I'm allergic to all of that. Never was allergic to not one thing my whole life. And when I turned about 27, I guess it was, then I started to get, slowly get allergies. The first one I got was like cat, uh, cats, and then it went to uh, ragweed and grass and uh. Okay, so yeah, man, uh, man. So what we were doing was, <clears throat> um, we have a dedicated server. But what I think we're going to try and do is, I'm going to put a map on the Deddy server that is going to be a generic map, probably like Elm Creek or um, Aut Belloron. And there's going to be probably no mods except the government subsidy, just so I can put money. And we're going to make that like an academy training facility for people that are new, that don't know how to play the game. Um, my hope and goal is, we already started with the logging mafia. My hope and my goal is that we can somehow promote anybody that's new to the farm sim game. We can have a place for them to go to take a day or two or three or whatever it turns into where we can have people there to help them and essentially train them on some of the basics of the game. And then, you know, if they want to learn some more advanced stuff, we'll have that ability too. So, but the goal is really the basics, right? Say, man, I never used to have seasonal allergies, but then in 2018, yeah, exactly, Fluffy. It It is, so there's, it, it's just ridiculous, Fluffy. Uh, you know, you kind of know what I'm feeling, and other allergy sufferers know. Car mods in, it'll be fun. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll see what we can do. Um, Swede's already got the logging part going on his Deddy server. And we've had, I think, two or three people over there. Um, I need to go and set up a new map on the, uh, the standard playthrough. And hopefully in the Discord, uh, I'm going to talk to another gentleman who runs a Discord. I want to see if maybe we can try and connect with him to promote it a little bit. This way, if there's any, you know, anybody that's trying to play that, you know, is uh, maybe hesitant or is getting frustrated or they just, you know, started and are like, dude, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. If anybody can help me out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Susie Crafts, one of our other team members, uh, teammates, she's actually the one who kind of inspired us to think in that fashion. So... You know, I give uh, credit to her for being the inspiration for that. If I use doing my channel. Uh, what is it that you mean there, Man Jelly? I'm not quite sure I understand. Is it okay if I use... Yeah, so we'll see what comes of it. I even have uh, in Canva, I'm going to create certificates just to have fun with it. Where like once you complete, you know, you get done and you learn what you wanted to learn, we'll give you in the Discord like a little certificate. You can even print it out if you wanted, you know what I mean? Just to have something fun for your game room or hang it on your wall behind you or, you know, if you're streaming if you wanted, you know what I mean? It'd be kind of cool.
Um. <laughs> Fluffy's like, yo, I want one for my game room. Yeah, you know, just something fun. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of what we want to do. So for those of you who may not know, um, we have the Crusaders stream team that we created, right? It's not a recognized stream team through Twitch because I'm not a partner, right? So, um, yeah, I would say Mad Jelly, I don't know if you're saying that that's a bot or something. Um, yeah, I don't want anything associated with a bot if that's what that is. But we could talk, you know, if you want to talk about something, you know, off uh, stream, uh, we could do that. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so basically our goal in our team is to be there and to help support and help fellow streamers who are like us, where we're not top-end streamers, right? We're not getting 500, 1,000 views. Uh, you know, while we're playing, we're all just starting out. We're all trying to learn, and sometimes you just need a little assistance, right? So our goal for our stream team is to look for people that want to be a part of a community, have fun. Um, you know, we don't want anybody that's too over the top with, you know, because we may have a lot of folks have children. You know, we don't want people to be you know, like ultra aggressive. We don't want people cursing every two seconds in their stream, right? We really want to keep and maintain, um, you know, not just kid friendly because, you know, we are all adults too and I don't, I don't want to restrict people, but we do want to keep it within some sense of, you know, common decency, right? So, our goal is to be there to help, encourage, support, um, answer questions. We have a huge group of people that have many different uh, avenues from which they've come into streaming. Uh, we have people that are strictly PC side. They know a lot about the PC side. We have folks from the... Uh, um, console side we have people that'll help you like if you don't have an overlay let's say and you're on console uh, and you're like oh I can't have an overlay we have people that can help you with that because I'm on console and <clears throat> you know our goal is to thank you man I appreciate that um, our goal is to just help people to get connected and not think that streaming is going to be very difficult it's going to be you know something they can't do you know we just want to be an encouragement and just have a place for people to go to come and hang out and enjoy uh you know a community right and there's a lot of groups out there you have rough riders you have sga um what is it b20 uh, b42 uh, you have a lot of groups out there, and, you know, just our group is a newer group. Uh, we do not have the clout that some of these bigger groups have, um, but that's okay because those, those folks have built their group up for a long time, and they deserve, you know, the clout that they have. We're a new group. You know, we're trying to do our thing and help out uh, in in the other spectrum, so... For those of you that'll see the Crusaders, or you'll hear people talk about it, you see the logo in the lower left corner. Uh, we also have the little flags there. So, <clears throat> uh, you know, that just kind of represents who we are. The flag stands for what the person does within the team. So if you're a new person, it'll say levies of the order, right? Because they're brand new. Uh, we have a scout team leader. We have scout team uh, one that goes out. We have a uh, tech person that will handle, like, the tech side of things. So we try to make it fun, have a good time. I would like to ramp up the fun part of it a little bit more. 
but you know it is difficult to you have real life that comes into play and uh, you know you're not always able to connect with people to play games at the time that they can play and you know it does get a little rough uh, sometimes to make those connections on a regular basis so <clears throat> we do the best we can Swede's usually with me in the morning uh, unfortunately he had a really really bad migraine this morning so he's trying to rest up and feel better Hey, Chief, what's up, buddy? There goes another one of our uh, teammates. You know what? Let me put it out there, guys. Is there anybody that knows? So is there a way that when people that are a part of our team come into the stream, into the chat, that we can have the Crusader icon show up next to their name? Is that... Is that something that can be done or no? Because that, I've, I've always thought about that, but I never knew if that's something that's viable. <coughs> right? I, I don't know if that's a, something that can be done. I, I don't think it is. Because even when I see, like, guys from the Rough Riders, I don't think I've ever seen an icon next to their name. <clears throat> yeah i was just wondering man if there's a way that when a person comes into right so if they were a vip yeah see i was wondering you don't hear me? Oh, can you guys not hear me? Test, test. One, two, one, two. Yeah, see, I'm wondering, because then that person would have to be a VIP, which means if they were a moderator, then I would either have to take them off the VIP, off the mod status and put them on VIP, right? So that's what I was wondering, because that would be cool if we could do that. Now I was saying it'd be nice if the people that are a part of the team, when they come in to chat, that they would have our Crusader logo next to their name. <clears throat> but I don't know, you know, I don't know how that's done. Yeah, see, I don't stream through Streamlabs or anything like that. So it's something I'll have to throw out to uh, a couple people in the team and see if that's an option through Twitch. Because I don't want it to be specific to PC or not, you know what I mean? I think mods can be both. <clears throat> okay. All right, Fluffy. So that's something to look into there. Uh, Fluffy Trucker had mentioned that he thinks when you set the role status for people that there's an option for you to take. So you see how the VIP has that, like, diamond-looking thing where you can have, where you can have the, um, you can make the badge and change that so he was saying how he thinks um you can have vips and mods have both roles which i didn't think you could um but if we're able to do something through there at least it's a start yeah i tried to do that i tried to do that with uh bumblebee and i Every time I put him as mod, VIP got grayed out. Hey, welcome back, hippie. So it's definitely uh, something we're, we'll take a peek at. Hey, Gallo. What's up, Gallo?
there's another one of our teammates, Mr. Gallo Bionia Films. <clears throat> Can't wait to get back to it. I know, right, hippie? Uh, it's going pretty good. I had to figure out a couple things, you know, what combine I wanted to use. Because, again, remember, this playthrough, this is about me trying to represent what, you know, like how they do some things over in the Netherlands, um, trying to mimic the style in which they do things, the equipment they use. Um... You know, I want to represent the way to do things because I watch a lot of YouTube videos from Agrifoto, Tenhova, and I love the way they do stuff. If I were a young buck and I wanted to be a farmer, I'd probably want to move to the Netherlands and learn from them over there. Because what they do and the way that they analyze stuff is kind of like fits in how I like to do things. <clears throat> so we were working with uh, different combines, different trailers. You know, I want to get away from just grabbing, you know, like the wolf truck and having 500,000 liters in there and never offload until I'm done, right? I just, I don't want to do that. I want to do a little more realistic. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah, you do have a Dutch farmer in Canada. That's awesome. What's the name? And we found the right combine now. We can do one full row without having to uh, empty. So that allows me the opportunity to let him run up north on the on the opposite side. And then I just offload him on the back side here. They're all spread out, gotcha. So you gotta you kinda have them all over the place up there. All right, a couple more rows and we'll be finished. Your mate's girlfriend is from up there? Nice. Yeah, and I think having the time setting at three is pretty good. It kind of lets the days go by a little bit quicker. Watching from Texas. Hey, Epic White Ninja. What's up? First time chat. Thank you for coming in and watching. Appreciate you. How you doing today? Happy Friday. We got a lot of representation from Texas, don't we, Gallo? you stay there uh we're doing great epic doing great buddy thank you for uh coming in and hanging with us man it means a lot to us uh let's see did we did we purchase that other trailer yet i forget now if we did No, we didn't. Okay. So we need to go pick up. Wait a second. Actually, I may have already done that and forgot about it. Let me see. 
Did we get the second one? We did. All right, never mind. Almost bought a third one. Don't need that. All right, let's hang out in our combine here. The only state, baby. <laughs> All right, there we go. The Texans are gonna gonna have a moment. <laughs> Yes, we are on Xbox Next Gen Series X is an X-Ray. And we're running it 1080p. <coughs> oh, yeah, guys, make sure I'm going to put it as a. Uh, yes. That's true. It's a little brisk, too. Did I tell you about my off days have been changed? Yeah, you did say that uh, you were having some changes. Yep. Re uh, reapply. Great to see the channel going well. Good luck to you all. Uh, no worries, Hippie. I thank you for coming by, man. And again, um, you know, I wish you nothing but success. I hope things change for the better for you pretty soon. Um, please keep us... Uh, you know, keep us in mind. Let us know how things are going, okay? <clears throat> so, your new schedule has you off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? Oh, good. Yeah, my days off were Sunday and Monday when I was at FedEx. So, yeah, so I wanted to say, guys, make sure, and I'm going to put it as a uh, as an auto thing on my, uh, in stream elements, make sure that you are, when you go into people's streams, make sure you go and you click on the little settings cogwheel in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. You're going to go take a snooze? No worry, queen. <coughs> yeah, rest up, feel better. In the lower right-hand corner, make sure you click on the settings cogwheel and make sure you set the setting to source. So it'll show you in there what the streamer is streaming at. So if their source is 720, um, 3, what, 360, you know, whatever it might be, 1080, make sure you set it to that so that you see their stream at the optimal setting because it will not default all the time to the source okay yeah you'll you'll catch uh you'll catch a bad looking stream sometimes because you don't have it set to their source And also, uh, anybody who plays World of Warships Legends, it's free. Um, you should be able to get it for PC as well. Um, I put a link in my Discord the other day for a site. It used to be on Game Pass, where you could just go on PC Game Pass. Look what up. 
Um, so, for those of you that do play World of Warships Legends, uh, I did start up a clan called the Crusaders because Legends just got clans. Uh, it's a new thing for them. So we are looking for people that want to join the clan and, you know, they want to play World of Warships regularly. Um, to me, regularly is, you know, maybe like two days a week. So if it's something that you want to do or you're already doing, uh, you know, keep us in mind. If you want to join the clan, you're more than welcome. Yeah, I just saw that you said warships there, Queen, and I was like, hey, hold on. Now, I know you play on PC. I have it on PC also, but I do play Legends more because, I don't know, I just, I just like the look and feel of Legends more than I do the PC version. <clears throat> Plus, you know, because my PC is so old, it doesn't have the best look to it sometimes the water you know doesn't look as good or as clean but i don't know legends is just bigger it just looks bigger it looks i don't know it's just got a nicer look for me i know one of our one of our uh, teammates mr jinx is uh, very well known in the World of Warships community. However, he's already on a uh, clan. They had a clan that was put together almost a year ago now, and then that clan wasn't really liking the way things were going. So they, about 20 of them, pulled out from that clan and kind of created their own clan. So they have their stuff that they're doing over there. more row here and this will be finished. I'm not good at it, but I would be interested. Yeah, Chief, if that's something you want to do. The World of Warships. <clears throat> yeah, you should find it on Game Pass. And then when you go in, you want to definitely go into the store and the add-ons because there should be a decent amount of free stuff that you can get. So that last row he's going to do, we'll just have him drive down to the farm. Yeah, and if we can, you know, we could, if we get enough people, like we can run three people in a division. So if we get enough people that want to play, you know, then we can try to pick a day where we can get together. Oh, no, you're not. Are you driving backwards over there? Son of a gun. I hate when they do that. It's like, what are you doing? Why? Because of the poles, the flat, the uh, light poles, street lamps. <coughs> I hate when that happens. Yeah, they don't make the proper, they don't want to make the turn. And I did forget to uh, do this end as a headland. That's when I was messing around trying to get everything set up. I never, I never set that headland.
<clears throat> yeah, so we'll see, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes if we get enough people, you know, that want to join and get together. We could try to do something like that. It'll be fun. It's a fun game. It's uh, all the um, lobbies fill up very quickly. It's not a long time to wait in between matches. It's very user friendly. <clears throat> Yeah, and Chief, if you get it, like if you're starting out in Tier 1 or 2 or whatever, let me know. Um, we can try and go on just to, you know, kind of coach you through some of the stuff and, you know, give you some ideas on how to approach it or just run some AI battles just so you get used to it. Because it does have a pretty decent community on Twitch. The PC one does do better. Um, but the community for the Legends one is pretty good. I, I There was uh, three guys that I used to watch on Twitch a lot that streamed it. And, I mean, they got to a point, you know, where they were having about 40, 50 people watching them. You know, they they built up a pretty strong community. And that was the only game they played in their stream. So it wasn't like they were a variety streamer. Um, they were exclusive to playing Legends. And we could pick one of the days that you're off. Right? You know, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. <clears throat> we can just, you know, get together, run a stream, or just play together even if we're not streaming. You know what I mean? So, just something to keep in the back of your mind. All right, guys. We are at the end of this field. Harvest is done. We're going to take a look and see how well we did on this field, too. It's, it's a good sized field. Good looking combine.
Okay. <coughs> Hold this up. Go offload. We do want to get this game, but it's too expensive right now. Should have got it when it was on sale. Yeah, I, I yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. It'll it'll loop back around. You guys are on PC, right? So just just an FYI. I don't know if it'll piggyback the sales, um, but underneath my stream in the about section, since I'm a Giants partner, you you can click my link. It'll bring you to Giants uh, store, and you can get I think it's 10% off. Just FYI, I don't know. Like, let's say the game goes on sale for $20 less, you know, next month, right? I don't know if it'll give you the 20 less and then another 10% off from that. <coughs> but uh, I just wanted to give you the heads up so that you know, okay? Yeah, this way if you do get an extra, right, if it'll give you, you know, another five dollars off or something i mean it's you know for since you both have to buy it you know that'll save you 10 bucks if it's five right so any little bit helps okay that's done okay Now let's take a look, get a save, take a look at what our total was. Barley, 203,000 liters off of that field. That's pretty good. We have oat on the other field. <clears throat> we did do canola. We have sorghum on the field to the west of the field that we were just on. So... Yeah, we're doing pretty good there. All right, let's go back. Uh, let's go in here. We want to offload this header. Take that back, we'll do a uh, fuel clean repair. Actually, we'll, uh, I should probably, yeah, I should probably cut some of this grass back, make that road there a little wider. opposite way here. <clears throat> I 
Okay, that's done. Let's get this put away. And what we'll do next is we'll windrow. Get that straw windrowed up. Now hopefully, this will fit next to this. Perfect. Yeah, I was concerned about that because I wanted to get everything that was going to be needed for the combines over there. So I was a little concerned that I wouldn't be able to get everything next to each other. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. Love you too, champ. <clears throat> that we don't need any repairs. Well, I guess since we're going over there, we'll repair it. It's better to keep it top condition. Get it fueled up all the way. Oh, not hitting the trigger. I found that the trigger on this repair spot here is pretty, pretty tight. I may have to reconfigure this over here because you have to park like right up against it in order for that to trigger on. Okay, there we go. Field's done. Let's go grab the 900 here. And we'll go grab our wind rower. Now, I need to decide if we're going to do straw bales or if we're going to keep it loose. So, silage, we're going to have plenty of. So, I'm thinking of keeping... We could put the straw and... <coughs> we could do straw, grass, and hay bales. Yeah, I think we might do that. I think we might go ahead and get some bailing equipment. All 
Alright, let's see. Uh, let's try... Let's try doing right side. So in about 15 minutes, guys, I'm going to take my kids over to the church. What we'll do is we'll do a quick little break. You know, we'll refresh the uh, liquids and hit the hit the bio break, right? You okay? It's all right. That air fryer will make it crispy. How's, um... How was uh, the weather? Kind of, kind of cool. Not real hot. Did you go out, boy? Did you go out? What? You were a good boy. Yeah. All right. Give me a street. Hey. Outside, huh? Yeah, you get a reward. Good oh boy. That's it. <laughs> Two. Good boy. Good boy. All right, all done. All done. <coughs> He's like, I say when we're done. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, doggy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the Zeusinator. When he goes out and takes care of his bathroom break, make sure we give him, give him the treats. He'll usually come running in and look at me and give me like a, <laughs> and then he'll get a snoot. His little nose, and he'll tip the uh, treat jar there. He'll be like, yo, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, shoot. I needed to set my cruise up. The Crusader hoodies. There you go. <laughs> See, it was meant to be. It was. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, my daughter just said that her and uh, her brother, when they go to the church thing, this weekend they're gonna bring they're gonna wear their uh crusader hoodies that they got for christmas she's like i'm hoping somebody's like yo where'd you get that hoodie <laughs> i was like there we go we gotta market that thing up there gallows gallows like hmm what about that what about that Biani wear? Can we get that Biani wear? How do we get how do we make this happen up there in the Poconos? <laughs> uh, so ah shoot. 
so this is just wide enough that this windrower is not going to uh is not going to make it is it son of a gun okay hey what's up tina tina raven how you doing Uh, that's not good. God dang it. All right. Tina, how you been? Great to see you. I think, weren't you watching Tina the other day? I thought I heard you in the background. I'm going to have people reach out to their people. I know, right, Gallo? Doing good. Sinus headache. Uh, speak no more. I know of the monster that we call the sinus headache. It's a beast. All right. Well, I didn't want to have to get the big Brona wind rower, but I think I'm going to have to. Gosh, darn it. See, and I don't want to go too much smaller on the on the header for the combine. That's the only issue, you know, is the combine head. Make these deals happen, baby. That's it. Okay. Well, we'll have to... I'm trying to think of what we'll be able to use this for hay when we make hay bales. But I don't know if I want to keep just this wind rower for hay bales. And the unfortunate thing is I don't think that big wind rower is going to fit in here. Damn, that sucks. <clears throat> that really sucks. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to pull this over here for now. And we'll address that later. Let's go to the shop and go pick up Probably have to get that prone wind rower. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think I think that header what was that header? I forget the size of that now. Was it seven? Or was it nine? Hey, Dark Rochi, what's up, bud? Ain't seen you in a little bit. How you been? Let me take a look at this header. Yeah, 9.1. All right. Well, let's take a look at our windrower situation. Fifteen... No, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate the offer. Uh, do we do 14.7? Six ton. They're probably the same height, right? Although this one... Let me try the coon. There is a shed that fits some headers. Can't remember the name of it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of hoping. Actually, wait a second. Let's take a look. What is the width of this one? Yeah, 9.5. So this one here should be enough to do the trick. So guys, once again, welcome into the stream. Happy Friday. I uh, hope you're all doing amazing today you're not feeling well, i.e. sinus headache or cold or, you know, just a crappy day, maybe weather-wise where you live, you know, I hope things get better for you. I hope that your weekend is tremendous. 
Is anybody doing anything new this weekend? Any movies? Any uh, binge watching on Netflix or Hulu or anything like that? How about the new Avatar movie, guys? Has anybody um, has anybody seen the new Avatar movie? I want to watch it. I was kind of hoping to get, you know, like maybe the family would want to see it together. You love the new Avatar, huh, Tina? Okay. Down here is insane hot, then rain, and back to hot. Yeah. Yeah, that, that hot and rain mix, not fun. Not fun at all. Yeah, that makes for some soupy weather, for sure. There we go. All right, good enough. <coughs> you saw it in the theater? Oh, cool, Dark. Okay. Yeah, they have it on, um, what was it, Disney Plus, I think, or Paramount or something. I think they actually have it on two, uh, two different platforms. Yeah, Disney Plus, cool. <laughs> I'm not giving you any spoilers. You know, what's funny, I don't know. I might be one of a few people that spoilers don't bother me one one bit. Because when I watch a movie, I get into the movie. Like, I, my whole focus is in, if I'm enjoying it, my whole focus is in. So even if I know, like I can watch, let's say, The Firm. Right? I've probably seen that movie 25 times. I'm still, like, I still, I have myself so engrossed in it that I'm still, but I do appreciate, you know, you thinking of that. <clears throat> I'll say this. Uh, she, she says it's a tear, tear maker. And then Tina said, I'll say this, Mrs. Krugon needs some Kleenex. I think I may need the Kleenex. Oh, yeah. I'm a... I'm a sobby guy when it comes to sob movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to admit it. I get a movie that touches my soul. Yeah, we're going to leave some... We're going to leave some... Uh, some tear residue behind. Yep. I do that with a lot of different things. You know, if it's a deep story. If it... You know when you're fully immersed into the characters to me there's no if you just watch a movie and you're not immersed in the movie you, you lose a lot of the feeling of the movie you know i'm a big baby on some movies yeah tina yeah i just i get fully involved you know i mean i don't really think there's i don't think you shouldn't be right i've been wanting to watch that my wife hasn't even seen the first one Oh, no kidding. Okay, best way to watch it. First one, then the second one right after. Yep, I saw the first one last year at some point. Yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, it was, it was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to watching this one. Brilliant, missed that little bit. How about that? All right, babe, why don't you uh, get the kids, get their stuff in the car, start the car up. And uh, in a couple minutes here, guys, we're going to take our break. Just going to run down the street. It's literally like two blocks away. 
we got to drop the kids off there at the church, get ready for their their trip. Then I guess I'm heartless. I don't sob at all. <laughs> Anime breaks me, but not movies. Yeah, hey. Everybody's got their thing. See, now, like, anime breaks you. I, I don't like anime at all, right? So everybody has their, their little niche. Some people, their niche is very broad. Like, for me, music, I'm very broad. Movies, I'm very broad. But some things I just can't. And all my kids love anime. All their friends love anime. In fact, their best friend, Devin... She draws and does artwork for anime. So, I got anime. Every, I got posters hanging up in the house. My kids got shirts with anime. I can never get into it. I don't know why, but it's just one of them things, right? I'm going to admit, as soon as I can afford it, I'll sub to you, crew. I love... Oh, Tina... I appreciate that. It's not necessary, but I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I don't really get into anime. To me. It's like watching cartoons. Yeah, yeah, but that's the beauty of the world, right? We have a lot of stuff out there. You can pick and choose what you like, and I don't down anybody for liking what they like. Um, you know, everybody, that's why you got different flavors of ice cream. You don't like vanilla, but you like chocolate. This other person likes chocolate, doesn't like vanilla. So be it. Right? And I've come a long way with that stuff. I was brought up in an old, <clears throat> a very old Italian neighborhood with very old ways of thinking. Everybody, you know, you stuck to your own. You married your own. Um, they were very, you know, old, old Italian families are very staunch uh, Catholic upbringing, and you know, there's a lot of a lot of old kind of thinking that doesn't create an issue. Like there's something to be said for it, but as times change, you have to change a little bit, right? That's that's my opinion, and you know, I've come a long way with you know the old days of oh my God, that music. How can you listen? That's terrible. That's terrible. How can you listen to that music? You know, where now I'm open to, you know, anything. As long as it sounds good um, and it's not too over the top, right? I'm not a prude, but there are some things that are, you know, that shouldn't be said out loud in some music, right? Uh, I don't really watch that too much as well. Most of the time I just watch Star Wars. Yeah, I got to get back into my... Star Wars. I am so off on my Star Wars watching. Uh, folks, happy Friday. What what I walk into here? Uh, Cockadopolis, we're just doing some farming, having some conversation. Uh, we were just discussing the new Avatar movie, how it's, you know, so far people are saying it's very good, uh, quite the tearjerker. And uh, talking about some Star Wars and, yeah, just, you know, just chilling and having some convo. Avita and ice cream. There you go. <coughs> yeah, Avatar. Yep, I know what you meant. Yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and bail uh, our straw. We'll get our first bales in our bale storage warehouse. And you said your favorite's plain old chocolate, right? So I got to admit, when it comes to ice cream, I have a broad spectrum. My favorite, though, is cookie dough. Cookie dough is my favorite. Probably followed up by the green, so the mint chocolate chip. So it's got to be the green one. Because it's got a, a heartier mint taste to it. And then probably some kind of like fudge caramel swirl, I guess, would be the next one after that. 
Mint chocolate chip, baby. There you go. Rocky Road, dude. Rocky Road is pretty freaking good too, man. Like I said, I, I'm I got every. I like a lot of different ice creams. Uh, cookie dough's your favorite. Nice. Usually do chocolate with Pepsi. Oh, there you go. Moose tracks. Yeah, moose tracks is pretty freaking good too, man. Yeah, I want ice cream now. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's done. It's done. Oh, yeah. The ice cream is... Uh, I don't even know if we have any. I'll have to look. But, yeah, the, the ice cream is there. And just a heads up, guys, too, for those of you. And I know uh, Queen and King, when you guys get uh, Farm Sim, you'll probably have a lot of invitations to join and you guys will probably have all set yep did you say goodbye to everyone gave hugs and kisses okay yep i got you so um uh you know this map is available for any for anybody that wants to play i do have a screening process for those that are not regulars right so if you're on our stream team you know, you're in automatically. Uh, if you're not a member of our Discord community, then, you know, I do want to have you come in. I wanted to get to know you for a while because we've had people come in and cause destruction uh, on our maps. This was about a year ago. So it's kind of jaded me in just opening things up for anyone. So if anybody plays Farm Sim and you're looking to kind of just get with people to play multiplayer uh hit me up in the discord you're always welcome um you know i i guess that's probably it you know stream team yeah yeah we have a stream team it's the crusaders um every time i get vanilla I make a root beer you got to make root beer floats they're tremendous Hey, uh, tina i'll tell you what i'm going to take this quick break take my kids right down the street to our church uh, they're going away to the Pocono Mountains for a trip. So, and just why am I not in your Discord? Exactly, Tina. Exclamation point Discord there, Tina. Rock it on. And uh, we're going to take our bio break, take them, and I will be right back, guys. See you in just a few minutes.
back, guys. Thank you for hanging in there, everybody. I appreciate that. I didn't really want to just shut the stream down. Because I knew we wouldn't be too long. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that, King and Queen, and for all you guys chit-chatting and doing the raffles and what have you. <coughs> guys, I do promise you that once I'm able to either get my cap card to work and or get a brand new PC sometime down the line, um, you know, we're going to have some pretty cool looking stuff that will be a part of the stream. Um, you know, I have some ideas in mind and things that we were talking about earlier. Not sure if they'll be able to be done or not, but, you know, I do want to have some stuff for you guys to be able to do while you're in the stream and stuff like that. So it's just a matter of me being able to get the money together and get these things that we need to get, right? GG, thank you. Oh yeah, for the for the uh, thing there, awesome. Dark winning. I have an ad hang on. Yep, no worries. Yep, we got about six seconds left on the ad break. <coughs> All right, we got one more row to get together here, and then we'll take a look at our bailing situation. All right, there we go. We got it for you. 
Shake Champagne Bottle. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so like I was trying to, uh, I think I was talking early, right before I left uh, Tina. So the Crusaders stream team that we created, um, it's not a recognized stream team by Twitch because we don't, I'm not a partner yet. So once we get to partner status, whenever that is, uh, I'll then be able to make it a legit recognized Twitch stream team, which I don't know all the things that it gives. I know it gives like a website that you can put and then next to the teammates names, it'll show our stream name, right? Jinx in the house. What's up, Jinx? So um, once that happens, then we'll we'll have some perks. I don't know how far the perks go, though. Um, but basically, the stream team was born out of... There were a lot of people, not just the people that are on our team, but people that I've talked to, people that I've known over the last two years that, you know, there's a lot of stream teams out there that are that are big and I'm not <clears throat> talking about any uh, particular teams in general because they all have awesome qualities they all have good things that they bring to the table but there's a lot that new people that were playing you know felt like we didn't have any direction right we didn't have anybody to reach out to we couldn't be a part of anything because, you know, some teams have some pretty, you know, pretty high requirements for you to be a part of their team, which is understandable. You know, they have a team, they want people to meet certain scenarios, and that's fine. They can, they can do that. So for us, you know, we sat down and we had a conversation about, you know, we want to be there for people, have some things to do, but we'll be back. All right, Queen. You take care, do what you got to do. We'll see you on the, when you return or later in the day, depending on if we're here or if you have a lot to do. All right, get well, please rest. Hope you get better quickly. <clears throat> so we all sat down, we talked, and we decided that we wanted to create a team that was going to be there for not just small streamers, but streamers in general that maybe feel like they, they're not connecting to a community. Maybe they are a, sh a small streamer and they're not sure what they can and can't do. Maybe they just need a little bit of help with something. Um, so that kind of spawned, you know, what we are about. So our goal is to build a community for people to make connections in, to have fun, to play games with other teammates if they, you know, if they so choose, if they link up that way. And, uh, uh, Jinx Gal, you guys can cover stream for us when we're going. Okay, yeah, sounds good, King. Yeah, you guys do what you got to do, okay? Thank you so much for coming in, and we will see you again. So we basically just wanted to be there for people and provide a place for up-and-comers, new streamers, or just streamers in general that aren't a part of a team that want to be, and they want to find a nice place to go and meet some new folks and be a part of a community that is looking to just build relationships. So that's what we try to do. All right. <clears throat> yes, sir. You guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you when we see you.
All right, here's our first set of bales on this map now. First time we've done straw in, gosh, I don't even remember the last time we did straw bales. No recollection whatsoever. And I was going to use the auto loader, but I think the standard bale loader is going to work better because the way the, um, <coughs> The way the warehouse collects the bales, it might be better for me to just use the standard bale loader. Although that only holds, I think, like what, 14 bales? Mm. Yeah, maybe I do want to go with a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, it's either 14 or 18, I think. Yeah, 14. Yeah, I may go with the bigger one just because I don't. That'll be a lot of. I don't mind doing a lot of trips, but I do think it'd be better. Yeah, I'm just a baby streamer, I guess. Didn't get affiliate till April, I think it was. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Cad Dragon 48 coming in with the follow. What's up, Cad Dragon? Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming in with that follow. Really appreciate it. Please come on in if you so choose. Have some conversation. Tell us a little bit about yourself if you want. If you guys have anything that you want to know about me, please feel free. But yeah, Tina, I mean, that's... um, And I think you have... Don't you have other family that's streaming too? If I remember correctly, or is that... Am I not remembering that accurately? Yeah, tell us what brings you into the stream too there, Cad Dragon. I always like to hear about, you know, how folks maybe find the channel. <coughs> if you want, you don't have to. Yeah, uh, I think I know your daughter, right? Her, what was her daughter's name? Missy? Missy Moo, maybe? Is that what it was? Was that accurate? Outlaw Gaming 85. Yo, what's up? Thank you for coming in with that follow, brother. Much appreciated. Welcome in. Welcome to the crew. Come on in. Hit us up with some conversation if you guys want. We've been talking the new Avatar. We've been talking about some Star Wars, some favorite ice cream. Missy Moo is my Twitch daughter. Oh, okay. So she's not your real daughter? Is that... So do you have an actual... Uh, family your daughter daughter that streams or I was gonna say we, we get her I give her a shout out <coughs> definitely would like to help support her channel hey Gallo if we could let's take a let's look up Missy Moo real quick let's give Missy Moo a shout out well Tina if you want you give me uh if you send me her link, we'll give her uh, a shout out in the uh, channel here. You can whisper it to me or send it to me in the Discord. Mikey Farmer is your Twitch dad. Ah, that's awesome. I think I know Mikey Farmer. I don't think I've seen him a lot, though. They helped you get started. That's awesome. Well, look, you know, now that you're in the Discord, um, you know, all we want to do is help out, too. Thank you, Gallo. Appreciate that, buddy. I know I've watched Missy Moo on uh, several occasions. But that's what we want to do. That's, you know, that's kind of... I'll do the same also. Yep, there we go, Dark. You know, that's, like I said, that's where we made up the team. 
you know, we have folks out there like yourself, right? You were looking to get started. You didn't know what to do or you were kind of unsure, you know, what's proper, what's not proper, what's the right protocol. These are all things that we want to do on our team and help get folks started, get folks that may have been doing it for a while, but they feel like, you know, maybe I'm doing it incorrectly or, you know, maybe they want to make a change and they're not exactly sure how to do it. <coughs> or maybe, like I said, they're well established. Um, like we have a new gentleman by the name of Easy Guy 72. Easy Guy 72 been doing this for a good long time. But he just wanted to be a part of a community, a group of people, get together, try to help folks out. Uh, we have a lot of things on the horizon that I want to do. I want to do charity streams. Um, I'm trying, I've been trying to get in some conversation with uh, Corsair. Uh, apparently they like to help new streamers, people that are starting out. If I could work something out where people could get something maybe from Corsair, um, whether it's computers, mouse, keyboard, um, you know, anything that we can do to connect with Corsair um, or other companies. If there's other companies out there that I can get our team introduced to, uh, that's what I want to do. And I'm looking for people, you know, that want to be a part of that, that, you know, maybe offer up some help and maybe they're in the field and they have some contacts, right? Oh, yeah, that's my case is a Corsair case. You know, so these are things that, you know, I want to do to help build, whether you're here on Twitch, YouTube, Kick. Uh, if you do all of them, I started doing Kick uh, as well. I'm on YouTube. I've been doing a lot of shorts for Call of Duty. Uh, I take a lot of videos from Twitch and post them up on YouTube. Um, you know, this way people from YouTube can see what we're doing. So, you know, we have a lot of things that we're doing and a lot of t people on the team throughout the team are doing some of those things too. So I just want to help out any way we can. So, you know, yo, what's up, T. Miller? How you doing, cuz? Good to see you, Bo. Appreciate you. So, you know, these are things that we want to do. Um, my son just got his affiliate uh, last week. The whole team helped him out. And he's not even a part of our team, right? We don't look to just help our team. We look to help everybody. We had a big shout out for Shib Streams. We wanted to help Shib hit his number. <laughs> uh, I put his info in the Discord the other day, like two nights ago. Um, he eventually did make his mark that he was looking to get to. You know, anything that we can do like that to help out, uh, that's what we're going to do. Oh, snap. Uh, let's get a big shout out for Team Miller if we can. Oh, never mind. There it is. I think I saw my Diablo partner. The chat moved so quick. I think I just caught the last. We spread every. That's right, Dark. Helped me when I got started up along with E. There you go. Hey, Cad Dragon. You used to stream about seven years ago, but didn't last long. And now I'm thinking getting back into it. I'm now 62 and been playing farm sim since FS11. Cad Dragon, you come to the right place, baby. I'm 53, so uh, we have we have all kind of folks in the community. <laughs> no, I don't want the T-Mobile phone. <laughs> um, so Cad Dragon, please um, exclamation point Discord. If you would like to be a part of our Discord, we would love to have you. Um, we're building a tremendous community. We have several, several people within the community, within the stream team. Uh, just awesome, awesome folks. 
and we would love for you to be a part of it with us please come on in if you choose if not that's fine um but yeah mr gallo just put a shout out there gooier what's up gooier thank you for that <coughs> but yeah we're you know we're really looking to uh to just just be there for everybody whatever we can do like i said charity events i want us to be big with charity events i'm going to talk to a few people uh you know on how to line that up i know that they have charity stuff that you can do directly through twitch as well um so you know i got a lot i don't want everything you know at one time uh because that can be a lot to take in right now we're focused on building the team building our community um trying to find out you know who wants to do what how they want to help if they you know can if they have um knowledge on console they have knowledge on pc knowledge with obs stream labs light stream right anything like that where they can offer up some help um you know is is greatly appreciated right so yeah i want to thank you guys very much because these are all absolutely incredible and i enjoy coming together with everybody having a good time and uh whether it's farm sim or ats or diablo uh if there's any diablo players out there <coughs> we will be running diablo today tomorrow sunday uh we do stream it on the weekends jaffa munchies who was in here just realized you weren't in the discord cool this this map here uh outlaw gaming is green river 22 uh the map has been completely well not the whole map yet because we just started this is only like our third or fourth stream uh but we are creating recreating the map we're kind of taking it apart merging fields getting rid of fields you know we're we're kind of making it our own thing all right, Chief. Take care, buddy. We'll see you again. Buddha in the house. Another one of our tremendous teammates, Mr. Buddha. You you play a lot of uh, Elm Creek or Elk Mountain. Elk Mountain. Nice. Very cool. Another awesome map. <clears throat> but, yeah, so if you do play Diablo 4, if you want to get together, go in the Discord, uh, send me a DM with your Bnet information. Me and Jaffa should be running today, tomorrow. Uh, not sure about Sunday. But um, we're looking, I think this weekend might be a good idea for us to try and knock out some strongholds. Um, try to get maybe a Nightmare Dungeon finished, see what they're about. You're doing gold mining at the moment. Oh, nice, Outlaw. Very cool. Yeah, we do have the um, uh, Silver Run mod or DLC for this map. So we are going to try to put a mine up and get some ore production so we can get some steel. Sounds cozy. <laughs> yeah, it sure does, Buddha. Yeah, guys, look, you guys are absolutely incredible. Please come on into the Discord, hang out. Um, my chat is always open in the Discord. If you want to go in, go into uh, general chat. We have people always bouncing around in the Discords. Uh, you can hang out in my general chat, you know, as long as you act the right way you know we're solid right um there's always people floating around you know you may go a couple hours maybe nobody pops in and next thing you know you got four or five six seven people in there you know feel free um you know we're like i said we're here to just build a community have fun we got photo sharing we got um food sharing info out there you know if you guys want to post anything up as long as it's clean, obviously, right? 
you're more than welcome. Uh-oh. I know, right? Buddha's like, wait a second. I didn't get that memo. That's dark right there, baby. Yeah, dark has been a uh, long, long friend of not just my son, but our family. We've known dark for quite a few years now. Dark and I have actually run some games together. Um... But him and my son and uh, his his little group there of friends, they they run a lot of games together. They have a great time. <clears throat> All right, we only got one more row after this. All the bales will be finished. We'll go pick up, take a look at what bale loader we want to use. Game sounds are good. We have to behave. I know, right? You don't have to behave completely. I think you guys know. I think you guys know. Hey, babe, are you able to turn this up? Or you, um, if you're not, that's fine. Okay. Doesn't have to be super loud. Yeah, I mean... You know, like I, like I was saying, I want it to be a place where people can, you know, have their kids kind of chill too. But I do make it 18 plus just in case because you do have to protect yourself. But we're adults first. Everybody have a good time. I just don't, you know, the excessive stuff is what we want to kind of keep away, right? Mrs. Crew and I have been friends on Steam. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, Swede. Swede said he had a really bad migraine. So, he, uh, yeah, he, he was on for a little bit, probably about half hour at best. And that was before I started uh, streaming. And, you know, he was just like, yeah, he's like, my head's just hurting too much. So, yeah, he went to go take a power nap, see if that would help. So Buddha, I had, we had an idea that we were kicking around um, earlier, and it's something that Swede and I have talked about. Susie Crafts had, <coughs> her being new to, to Farm Sim kind of prompted the idea for Swede and I. We had the logging mafia, the, the logging that he does started. But I was just wondering if we were, didn't want to leave him hanging. I was running late. Yeah, no worries, no worries, man. So what I was thinking of doing was, I have a dedicated server through G Portal. And I was kind of wondering if I would like to put, I was going to do a base farm, like, Elm Creek or Aut Bailaron, but now what I'm thinking, Buddha, is if we were to build no man's land and build it, what I want to do is I want to make a farm on the Deddy server that would be almost like a training farm for anybody that is a part of the team, not a part of the team, anybody new to farm sim that might be struggling with how to do things where we would have the opportunity to invite them to the Deddy server but it would have to be you know somewhat mod friendly you know we wouldn't I don't want to go too crazy I want it to be basic right how to make a field how to set a field up um, <clears throat> Tina's been streaming on Neverland. Okay. Neverland. I don't... I'm not too familiar with Neverland. I'll have to look that one up, Tina. I'm intrigued. 
Yeah, exactly, right? So I would like to have something set up so that we would have, like, a section on the map where we would do just, you know, the different types of plows that you can use, what their purpose would be, uh, a section for just harvest, a section for just baling, right? So, you know, I'm wondering, because we want to keep it simple so that folks can come in and learn how to do some of the basics and then you know we could you know bring them in on like a stream map let's say where they could then you know learn something a little more advanced right it's pretty good yeah i'm gonna have to check that out tina And then this way, and we would do it um, similar to what we're doing um, use the same map, same mods. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. But now the problem is <clears throat> on G Portal, one of the things I cannot stand with G Portal, and it's not their fault, really, is you cannot look up mods by name you can't sort them all it is is when you go to the mods list it's a just a gigantic list of all the mods they're not in alphabetical order they're not in category order nothing so you could yeah setup is garbage okay now, it's not G Portal's fault, apparently. It's a Giants thing, from what I was told. You know, Giants didn't say that. You know, other people did. So maybe maybe Giants has a different answer to that. Um, but it is an absolute pain. Absolute pain. It's, when I say torturous, uh, it, it's, that's being kind. <laughs> um, so I would want it to almost be no mods, okay, to start, except for the government subsidy mod, because that would be, you know, we would need that to put the money in for the usage. But, you know, I'm thinking we go on there and we would have it where we have a section uh, maybe in the Discord that's for you know farm sim academy let's say and anybody who wants to learn anything they would just you know let us know through that section and we would set up like a specific day where maybe we can get you know let's just pretend there's two or three people you know we can get those two or three people together and we would have maybe one or two or more people on that would then be able to you know one person goes over here and learns this another person goes with swede and they he shows well he has a whole separate logging thing so we wouldn't even need logging on that server it would just be strictly farm you know animals plowing cultivating all that stuff right Yeah, so, you know, I'm thinking we could do something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, so let's let's toss that idea around. Um, if anybody would want to, you know, partake in setting that up, uh, let's discuss it. Let's throw some ideas around. We'll take, you know, maybe a an hour or so one day and we can you know kind of sit in the discord and just discuss what that could look look like bob ross it that's right that's right baby that well there's a reason why i said your name <coughs> you don't do the logging side oh we got an ad run coming up here guys that's why i threw your name out there first because uh I know 
I know you like that stuff. This is, is this an, oh shoot, I forget if I have an auto loader. I think this farm tech is an auto loader, isn't it? Shoot. No, that's not the mod. This is the modded one. Damn it. That's the only one I brought out, huh? All right. Well, we'll fix that. We'll fix that after. I'll use this one for right now. <coughs> yeah, we'll lease this one. Yeah, some of the some of this is going to be uh as we do the playthrough here is going to be a learn a learn as we go because you know, I don't have things, like, I'm not too sure in how I want things to go until we actually get into it. So, there'll be some mods that we don't have yet that we'll have later. Nothing on here is permanent uh, right away. Some things will change. Like right here, right? I think I got to redo my that area there. I think I'm going to redo our silo. Jinx, yo, what's up? Jinx got the sirens running. Uh, with the government multiplayer sign pack and the lifted letters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I was thinking, Buddha. You're you're right on point with where my where my mind was going. In fact. The three things that you said right there were the first three things that I was already uh, putting in my head as well. So we're on the same level there. Yeah. Yep. We could do that. Absolutely. Birds would be twerking. <clears throat> Jinx, how you doing, cuz? I was telling everybody about uh, World of Warships there, Jinx, and the group that you guys are in. You got your clan up and running, and they finally got it set up on World of Warships. Let's put it out there again. Guys, anybody who would like to play World of Warships Legends, Okay, World of Warships Legends is different from the base standard PC World of Warships. Um, it was created for console, but from what I know, you can play it on PC. We did have a uh, an old friend of ours um, that used to play on Game Pass on PC with us. I've been told that it's not available through Game Pass on the PC anymore. I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but I did find and I posted in my Discord a link for some kind of place that allows you to play it on PC. But if you're... They started up clans now on Xbox Legends. So if you guys are interested in playing, um, I did go in and create a clan for the Crusaders. Um, you know, if you want to play, I don't care what level you are. I don't care if you never played before. I don't care if you're new to the game or if you're a seasoned veteran, it doesn't matter. Um, we're just looking for people that want to play. And if you do, you can come in, join. If you don't want to join our clan, they have plenty of clans that are around I just checked I have 187 mods five of which are maps nice all right Jinx taking off buddy all right pal have a great rest of your day <clears throat> so yeah if you're interested in playing and you want to join in learn how to play the game or if you already know you just want to get with a group and have some fun work towards some goals please feel free you're more than welcome. 
just hit me up in the Discord and let me know what your gamer tag is so I can add you as a friend. And then we'll we'll get you in and Chief said he was interested. Yeah, I gotta clean this up right here too. See that? Alright, so let's see. Best way to approach this. I don't know what all the equipment is or what's what some are for, but I'm learning. Well, see, there you go, right, Tina? That's that's kind of what we were talking about, right? Where now we could create a place on on our dedicated server, and we would be able to have you log in, right? Let's say. <clears throat> You know, every Tuesday or something, you know, we can run uh, people through stuff. You'd be able to log in and get with one or two people, and we would have it set up, and you'd be able to, uh, to go and get it done and learn. If you need something specific, you know, we can teach you something specific. You know, I think that would be a great thing. that just goes into you know what we talked about uh you know with our community with our team you know these are the things that we want to do and not just for farm sim you know if there's people that play well we'll use ats as an example and there's people that want to learn ats let's set up something for ats if you play call of duty if you play diablo right uh disney dreamlight valley you know i don't care i want our team to be not a farm sim team i want our team to just be a team i want us to include everything i don't care what game it is if we have people in the community that can teach help others understand it learn how to play it um i don't care if it's a mobile game right if you're on um, switch, right? Hey, Jay Bennett, nine seven six. What's up, Jay Bennett? Yeah, yeah. That that's the one thing that you know might be a little difficult in the beginning to get across because you know a lot of the people that are part of this are farm sim, right? Well, we have people that play ATS, ETS. Uh, Snow Runner, Diablo, um, Seven Days to Die. Dream, you know, my missus, right? She's on her Switch. She plays several games on the Switch. Um, you know, I want us to just be a team. That's it, right? Jay Bennett, welcome to the crew. Great to see you. Come on in if you want. There we go. Not much. How's the stream? <coughs> First time chat from Jay Bennett. Thank you very much. Welcome to the crew. It is good to see you. Good to have you. Hope you're doing amazing today. You know, last weekend, I'll give you an example. Me and Jaffa, we were set up to do a couple things on Diablo 4. We spoke about it the day before. The next day, we were just getting ready to start our scenario, and we had a couple people come in that had not completed the story mode on Diablo 4. So they weren't going to be able to join us in what we were going to do. So Jaffa and I completely abandoned what we were going to do, and we helped that person get through a very, very good portion of the story. They went from Act 2, the beginning of Act 2, to the midway point of Act 5. And there's six acts in the game. The next day, I was going to do some stuff, and another person came in that was not able to do anything just yet, because they didn't. And I ran the same acts again 
with them the next day. Power wash. There you go. Just got, oh, what was this? I played Seven Days to Die, uh, this COD Fortnite. You just got your PC. Nice. Phasmo player. Very good. Jaffa has ETS and ATS. Very cool. JB, congrats on getting the new, uh, on the new PC. Good luck with everything, brother. So, you know, we came in and Jaffa and I, we had no problem. We went ahead, we had a good time, and we took care of what we could take care of to help them out, and that was it, right? We had a blast. Navy Yoshi, yo, what's up, Navy? Coming in with the biddies, thank you, brother. Hey, man, I hope you're doing amazing, bro. I really miss you. I know we haven't seen each other in a while. I know you got some IRL stuff, and, you know, I want you to know, bro, we're always thinking of you. And anytime you want to get together with us on some stuff, bro, you just let me know, okay? It's always open. <clears throat> but, you know, it's like that's what I want our team to be, right? I want us to be helpful, supportive. Um, you know, you may not be able to help in one area, but you might be able to in another. And if you can't, you know, if you're limited by whatever, okay? And the only support that you lend is by being in their stream, saying hello to them. Uh, that's support too, right? Had a few health, yep, and I'm doing all right. All right, amen, Navy. Amen, brother. It's so good to see you. And again, like I said, we're always, we're always here, bro. Anytime, please hit us up. And if you got Diablo 4, you can join Jaffa and I and many others on our clan. Just saying, what? What was that? Did you guys hear that? I heard something. I don't know what it was, but I heard it was a voice. <laughs> Buddha's got the dad jokes. There we go. <laughs> um, great running an AMD Ryzen. GeForce 3070, good for you, JB. Awesome, brother. You know, like I said, my map, you know, if you're part of our community and you want to come on and you want to help out uh, Mr. Crew here, you know, run bales and uh, 42 million liters of silage, I'll give that a minute to soak in. 42 million liters of silage. You heard it. We're set up for it on this map. We haven't started yet. That's uh, We got the bunkers all ready to go. But if you want to come on and be a part of it, you know, like I said, I just ask that you're a part of the Discord. If you're new, you know, we just got to get to know you a little bit. If you're already a part of things, just let me know you want to come in and, you know, we'll pop on one day, get you to download the mods and, Anytime you see me on you, come on in. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, wait till you see it, Tina. <clears throat> After I pick this up, we're going to sleep. Because I don't like working in the dark. Because sometimes on the stream, it you know it doesn't come off too well. But we're almost done. I figured I'd try and get these picked up. And then we'll go to sleep, and I'll show you what we did. You probably have most of them, sure. <laughs> oh, Buddha. Well, you know, you always have the JD controversies that come up, for sure. Actually, what we're in day one, right? Okay, screw it. I don't need to be... It's not going to end anytime soon, so I can go and sleep. It's not going to hurt nothing. Fent, that's what we run. <clears throat> I run anything, but my go-to is Fent, for sure. 
I think I have three days set up for the month, so. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Yeah, day two. Nice. <clears throat> One hundred biddies from Tina. Tina, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You guys, it means a ton to me. It really does. Thank you very much. Super, super appreciated. But yeah, so I appreciate you guys letting me bend your ear. Um, you know, I don't, I usually don't ever talk about our team and stream, honestly. Uh, those of you that have been knowing me for a good while, I, <clears throat> I don't want to come off like in a bad way, you know what I mean? But I'm proud of what we're doing. I'm proud of all the people that are a part of it. I'm a proud, I'm proud of our community and all I want to do is just make it make it better right I want to just be able to be there for people not even just myself but just our our group our community to be supportive helpful thoughtful you know I have a vested interest in everybody <clears throat> I care me and my missus will talk about everybody on the team sometimes weekly um, just to, you know, kind of see what's going on and, you know, I want to know if things are not going well, you know, if you want to divulge information about yourself, your family, you know, I want to be, I want to be there for people, you know, I want to help out. So, you know, I appreciate you guys very much. <coughs> All right, we're getting close, guys. Getting this field almost finished. Still have two more fields that are growing. Well, technically three. Yeah, I f we just got done our <clears throat> our grass field yesterday. So we have field to the right. We have a field to the left, and we have a field up north. So, Tina, can you see the... Uh, off in the distance there. See those bunkers? I'm one of those people who's very transparent about my, sometimes I just want to vent. Yeah, exactly. So let me show you guys. <clears throat> We're still gonna Bob Ross it, but we got the, uh, the base of it set so far. Now this was an actual field. All this right here was a grass field. So what we did was we turned it into a huge. So each of these big bunkers. Oh, we got the ad in progress. I'll wait. Sorry if you guys hear me hitting the mute button, but my freaking allergies are driving me crazy. You can hear it probably in my voice too, right? It's like a little nasally. It's because like my sinuses just feel like somebody shoved a whole bunch of cotton up there. When I was five, I swallowed a dime. Is that personal? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> mm. 
Not anymore, brother. Oh, the old Arcusin. <clears throat> Boy, this thing goes back a long time, doesn't it? When the ads are done, Tina, I'll, I'll run Tina through that and any others that can't hear me in the stream. We'll go over there and just so people can see what we're looking to do. <clears throat> actually brought out a lot of bales man we did pretty good and there were two two rows that I missed oh I'll bet it was expensive brother all right Tina I'm gonna drop this off and I'll bring you back up over uh, <clears throat> where that place is at show you what we plan on doing and I'll give you guys a quick little tour for those that haven't seen the map, this map is different than what we're doing. We change things around, so. Oh, somebody's joining the server. Using your brain is free, you know? Yeah, exactly, Buddha. Yep. <clears throat> no charge for using your head. <clears throat> we got Mr. Sweets popping back in. <clears throat> Mr. Swede, if you're in the stream, let me know if you want to uh, if you want to join in a party or not. I know your head might still be hurting. All right, so um, what we did, Tina, was we took this field. I think it was field 13, and we concreted over the field. And what we did was, so each of these large bunkers hold 6 million liters. Hey, what's up there, partner? <clears throat> yeah, so each of the big bunkers is 6 million liters. And then the smaller bunker, we tried to do three large bunkers. But every time we would put the third one down, a wall would disappear on the other bunker. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you did. <clears throat> yeah, so we have four, six million, so that's 24. And then we have another eight, so 32 million liters, right? Yeah, 32 million, not 42. However, we also have... These at the biogas, which, if I remember correctly, I think they hold one and a half to two million. So another six, so almost 40 million liters that we're going to do here. And then this field here, this is the field that we planted grass on. This is four fields. So basically, we took fields one through four merge them together that's all grass 14 16 29 has been merged together 19 20 came over this way 27 came over this way uh we merged this all together made this a separate field now we're going to work on this area next i want to take this cut all this down up to here flatten it out, and then merge these fields together, and then bring this up here, right? <laughs> no, it's not ready yet. Nope. And then let me show you our forestry division. 
led by Mr. Swede. So out this way. Oh, please don't ask me to ever cut grass. <laughs> no worries, no worries. There's a simple way for us to take care of it. So here's our forestry division. So we have Mr. Swede who's been cutting down trees, taking the long timbers, running them through the, I think that's Jens, right? Yeah, Jens chipper. And filling up the wood chip bays here. Yeah, we'll show you. I'll show you what I do for the grass part. <coughs> so there we go. Let that chipper do its thing. Over on this side, we're going to have logs. Probably 6, 8, 10, 12, possibly. You know, depending. Sweet, if you want me to party up with you, let me know. If not, that is fine. That's our forestry division right now. It'll include other stuff. But right now, in the beginning here, Swede, his goal is to fill all of these up with wood chips, get that done and out of the way. Right? go and collect the rest of these bales. I take it you never seen me farm. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Tina, you'll see. We'll get you we'll get you fine tuned. You'll have a you'll have a good old time. And as long as you have fun and enjoy what you're doing, right? I'd be down to help out. Very cool, JB. Yeah, like I said, just, uh, you know, get in our Discord, exclamation point Discord. And like I said, you can exclamation point anything. If you want to uh, follow on Kick, YouTube, uh, Discord, uh, Xbox, Steam, you want to add me to Steam, just exclamation point any of those and you'll get, you'll get our information. We'd be more than well, uh, more than happy to have folks join. <coughs> I only have a couple conditions. Number one, I don't, I don't want to know anybody's age in the chat. But you got to be 18 or older, and when you come in, you just gotta want to have fun, put some work in, and just enjoy your time and help out. And just. You know, make it fun. Right? That's all we ask. Alright, we'll get this one here, and I think we'll just have one more row, maybe? Or two. Might have two. No, we got those two, and then this row, so. I'm the most conventional farmer around, trust me. <laughs> Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the beauty of the game. You can run it any way you want. <clears throat> um, can't read the rules section. Interesting. So the rules section should be open for everybody. Hey, babe, can you message Ghost <coughs> for me? Oh, he's streaming? Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll message him in the Discord. Because that rules section, 
I don't know. Hey, um, Gallo, or yeah, Gallo, if you could, I don't know if Vito's working today or not, but if you could, can you just send me a me send not me, send Vito a message, um, that the permit the rules section in the Discord apparently it may not be open for everybody. If you could just send him that this way, if he is home <clears throat> today or I don't know if he's on a break at work, he could take a look at that, see if uh, I suggest making a separate section, uh, Discord with all the info for the server, separate chat, yeah. Yeah, we would definitely do something separate for uh, for that, Buddha. Most definitely. Jeff, for coming in with the hydrate. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Will do. All right, we got the last row going in here. Hopefully, we can get all of them. But if not, so be it. I think we will. Like in my Discord, you have to respond to the rule. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way it's supposed to be. And nobody ever told me that they couldn't access it. So this is the first I'm hearing of it. So I'm a little concerned that. You know, if a lot of people came in and couldn't access that, they may have left. <clears throat> yeah, definitely, Jaffa. We definitely need that, that drink. <laughs> You're talking about the uh, the bio break, probably. We've been there, done that. Oh, yeah, the stretch, too. Yep. Yeah, we take care of that, too. Thank you, brother, for thinking of me. But, yeah, I'm a little concerned that it's not accessible because that should be accessible for everybody when they first come into the discord you know what let's send a message gallo if you don't mind let's send a message over to uh ghost trucker too yeah this way because they're both they're the two people that really kind of run things for me over there so let's send it let's send it to them and make sure that they both know and whichever one you know can take care of it um you know they'll get it done so that'll be cool cool thank you brother Yeah, so the way it was set up from the very beginning, because you came in before all that was done, so you were, like, grandfathered in, I guess we'll say. But uh, apparently between um, Ghost and Big Vito, there is a section that was supposed to be set up where as soon as people join, there's a rules section that they have to read and then accept in order to be able to get into any of the other sections. And Tina said that that's not showing up for her. Which, you know, is odd because we've had plenty of people come in and, you know, have been in the uh, Discord. But I'm hoping that, that it's not... 
I hope it didn't stop working and then people can't get in, right? Because that would be... <clears throat> that would be unfortunate. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> Alright, bailing is done. Let's take a look and see how many bales we wound up getting. 78. Nice. 78 bales. That's awesome. You shouldn't be able to see anything until you hit the green check mark. Right, exactly. Hey there, queen, what's up? Right. That That's the way it was supposed to be set up. Um... But Tina said that when she just joined the Discord, the rules section for her to hit the check mark was not available. <clears throat> What's up, King? Yeah, right. Well, that that is the way it was set up from the very first day that we started uh, the team. So that's what I want to find out from Vito or Ghost. You know, did that change somehow? Um, is it not working properly? Is there just a little glitch today? <laughs> That's what we want to find out, right? Okay. All right, that field is done. Let's go and we need to go get our mulcher. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll use the 900s. Uh, wait a second. Let's take a look here. Uh, where are we at? Right here. <clears throat> Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some fertilizer actually no you know what first thing we're going to do yeah we're definitely we're going to mulch first so let's get our let's get our 800 Gonna make me cry from all the love shown. Oh, no worries. I'm glad we could help out, Tina. Absolutely. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, well, I told you. You know, this is what we try to do. We have a great group of people. Go said okay. All right, cool. Thank you, brother. Yeah. We have a great group of people, and that's all we want to do is help out and, you know, try to just make this a uh, awesome community.
All right, let's go grab our front weight. We'll get this other one going. Just gave you a follow as well, Tina. Awesome, guys. Thank you. How's the mic going? Mic's still good? No buzzing or crackling or anything? Just make sure you guys let me know if you hear any crackling in the head in the you know in the headset in the mic kind of thing. Just let me know. Alright, cool. Awesome, thank you. Okay. All right, let's see. Um Where'd my 1000? Where'd my 10 series go? my eight. Hello. My ten. Did my tens disappear? They were right. Where did my Where did my ten my tens are gone? <coughs> you guys saw yesterday I had two ten series fence. Where did they go? I mean, according to this, I don't have them anymore. Are you kidding me? They shouldn't be in the medium. No. My 7s, 8s, 9s, and I had my 10 series. <coughs> I got to go buy them again? Wait a second. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> no, it's not a medium, it's a large. Yeah. I wonder if there's an update for it. That's why it's not showing. Yeah, Gallo. By the way, I'm down home country. Gallo loves farming. I live in Georgia. Sometimes I am no peach. It provoked. And I have known the cruise for a while. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I bet you that's what happened. Yep. Now, you know what it is? When there's an update, it automatically unchecks the check mark in your list of mods you have to then go back in and check it and I did not do that because I didn't I don't think I got the update okay <clears throat> fair enough at least I know what happened so that's fine well yeah we'll make do I was like wait a second I know I had two sevens two eights four nines and two tens. 
I'm like, I know I'm not going crazy. All right, we'll grab a nine series. Then we'll take care of that after the stream. Yeah, it's a nice convenient feature to uncheck my mod after uh, <laughs> after after the update. Or maybe I did the update and I totally forgot. There's a chance that that happened. I probably did the update after you know whatever day it was when we were playing, and then didn't go in. You know, drop it in there, resave it. You know what I'm saying? That that could be what happened. Feel free to have a mad spell. Right. <laughs> Alright, we'll get you set up. And as usual, when he starts row three, we'll send this guy. I am going to assume that uh, Swede didn't want to chit chat in the headset because he may still he may still have uh, may still have a headache. So <clears throat> but Swede, I appreciate you getting back and looking to chill, buddy. I hope you're feeling better. I think I'm going to do away with that concrete piece there because there was a different building there. That's why it sticks out. But we're going to redo that section. I think I'm going to either find a new place for my silo or we're just going to reconfigure that one. New follow coming in from Fortnite 771771. What's up, Fortnite? How you doing today, buddy? Thanks for that follow. Welcome into the crew. How you doing, pal? So speaking of Fortnite, I was talking earlier about my son hitting his affiliate, and uh, he's a huge Fortnite player. <coughs> In fact, he wanted to take his Xbox on his trip today so that he could get on stream and run his Fortnite. But we were like, no. <laughs> you need to go chill with your friends. Yeah, him and his buddies, they have uh they have a huge amount of Fortnite playing that they do. Alright, so he's cruising at 7. Should have did a headland, but it's alright. What am I doing right now? Right now we are mulching our field. We just got done a harvest. So we're running the mulcher. If you take a look, you got like these little shrubs, right? Little stems. So we go over, we mulch it. Kind of get that mixed in with the, with the ground. And then... We're going to then hit it with our cultivator and seed bed maker. So this will take that, churn it up, chop it up a little bit more, and then kind of agitate the ground, make it real clean and smooth so that we can then put our seed in the ground. Oh, no kidding. Can't run any of it, huh? Well, that, that stinks. I hope you can get that cleared up. I would just say make sure your connections are all good. A lot of times, uh, your internet cable, if you, you know, if that's in and you don't hear that click where it locks in, 
Sometimes that can be a problem. Sometimes you just have to do a full, you know, shut down, unplug, let it sit for about 30 seconds, and plug it back in. Just do another, you know, do a reboot, check and see. Um, make sure your drivers are updated. All right, there you go, Tina. So Ghost may have went in there and fixed it. So if you get a chance, go in and see if it'll let you uh, check that box in the rules section. <clears throat> um, well, it depends. If you have NVIDIA, you can actually download their software. <clears throat> it's, a, it's an icon that'll go on your desktop. And all you do is double click on it in the top left corner it'll say drivers and then as soon as you click on that it'll say you have the most up-to-date driver um, but it would be based on the graphics card that you have you know um, you can go to the website for that particular company and you know check and see but there's some technical aspects to it that might be a little difficult to kind of explain um, you know without you being you know being able to see you know the computer but if you're running an NVIDIA card the easiest and fastest thing to do is just download NVIDIA's uh, info and like mine I have the NVIDIA thing on my desktop once a week I'll click on it it'll say update needed or you have the current drivers Copy that, Jaffa. Yeah, Tina, CC cleaner is good too. Yeah, I have that. Hey, yo, Tatico, what's up, brother? How you doing, Tatico? Good to see you, pal. Let's go, baby. Hey, welcome back to Psychosis. How you doing there, cuz? All right, so mulchers are out. Cultivators are out. Field prep is underway. Uh... You do not have permissions to view the message history of rules. That's what you still get. Hmm. Interesting. We got an ad run coming up here, guys. That's interesting. So you see the section, but there's nothing there. Okay. Well, we're going to have to, uh, yeah, we'll have to get with Ghost and or Vito or both to get that looked at see what's up <clears throat> and then I need a, a whole review of discord so I know how to do that stuff yeah what we're trying to do Tatico is Tina is new to the discord so we originally had it set up where they would just go into the rules, right? And then just hit the check mark to say, you know, I, I'm going to abide by the rules. But it won't let her do that. So we're having some kind of issue where she cannot 
get in to see, you know, the rest of the Discord. And it wasn't like that before. At least nobody ever said anything. So this could have been, you know, a long-term problem that just, you know, was told to us. So we have to see if we can get that fixed. <laughs> oh, good old Chuck Norris. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> he said, I don't read no damn rules. I just behave. <laughs> Okay, so work is underway, looking good. <clears throat> now, like I said, guys, this section is going to be the next thing that we're going to do over here. So I went and I painted everything that's going to be left out, right? So anything that's green is just going to stay not part of the field. We'll probably put production facilities here, storage, you know, something, right? Um, these trees are going to come out. We're going to connect these two fields. All these trees over here on the right are going to go bye-bye. And then this section right here, this section right here, uh, we may keep this set of trees in, but we're going to get rid of, you know, maybe like right up to here. And then I'm going to try to flatten all this. And then we're going to connect those fields up north down here to this field. All right. And then we'll have a road that will come through here. So we got, we got some construction. Oh, yeah, Tina, we'll have animals. Everything but horses. Neither of us like to do horses, so I never have horses on our map because nobody likes to, to, you know, keep up with them. But yeah, we're going to have all the animals. Yep. Eventually, we'll be using slurry. Uh, manure, we got the manure pellets mod. We'll use manure to make pellets slurry to furt. Oh, yeah, we'll have it all. Yeah, horses are just, I don't know. I just find them boring, so I don't, I typically don't do anything with them. I don't mind making the feed and all, right, to stay up on them. But, yeah, none, none of us really like to mess with them. It's unfortunate, you know, because it's a part of the game that we don't do, but I, you know. I actually, on uh, Medvedin map, about a year ago, I actually made a horse track on the farm for people to come on and do horses, and we can run horse races. And we were even kidding. We were going to try and find a way to get channel points, to bet channel points. Oh, yeah, old McDonald. You got that right, Queen. Oh, yeah, it was cool. We got one of the go-kart mods, and me and Swede drove around the track. Yeah, it was cool. It was pretty good size, too. I would say it was probably... So, from the end of the field there to probably, like, right about here. And it was oval-shaped, you know, like a horse track. The golf cart mod, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. We had a good time with it. What uh, what map were you working on there, Fortnite? Oh, I know the animal sounds. Oh yeah. The lizard mountain bike is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, the hitch would have been awesome for that. 
<clears throat> now, I'm not sure what it would be able to pull, right? It would have to be fairly light. Oh, you know what? While that's doing that, let's take a look at this right here. I want to... Let's see. Do we want to keep it right here, or do we want to go further? I think I want to go a little bit further in here. I have two roles in your Discord, and I even logged out and then back in. Still no rules. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. I just had a little sneeze fit there. <laughs> kicks discord and twitch for good measure um so i have it from the bottom but i don't know how to work it so you don't know how to work what was it the uh thank you thank you thank you what was it you don't know how to work fortnite so there's something in the mod hub you said a light switch or something what is that? One of the one of the sheds? Is that what you're talking about? Is there a shed that you're using that you can't turn the lights on? off the doors to the shed so take a look because sometimes uh let's see so sometimes the sheds the activation is not like just inside on a wall or something like this one will have this here let's see if it'll trigger it right that's for the lights Okay, but then sometimes the doors are just a matter of being in front of the doorway. And you just walk up, hit the button. So it depends on, you know, how the, I don't think this one has lights, right? No, this one doesn't. Yeah, it depends on how the mod is set up. Hello. No, I meant like on your cars. Oh, you mean when you're when you're in the car? So if I'm in my pickup truck or any vehicle for that matter, um So for me, it I have to hold the right bumper, and I hit B, and you'll see the lights come on. Right, so right bumper, hold, and then press B, and each time you press the B, the different lights will light up. And 
and then hit it again, they turn off. If that's what you're asking. I hope I hope that that covered it. Why do I feel like I'm stuck? I get my foot caught in the gate there. See that? I couldn't move. That was pretty funny. Um, so, the doors. So, the doors, let me check. I never even checked the doors, to be honest with you. They'll open automatically, but I don't know. Let's see. Fasten, unfasten. We have that. Cold trailer. That's for suspension. Toggle radio, cruise control, that's for the mirrors. No, so mine doesn't have anything for the doors. Yeah, nothing for the doors for mine. <coughs> yeah, some of them do have where you can open the door. Yeah, it'll be like X button or B button or something like that. Yep. Yeah, this one doesn't have that feature. Yeah, some of them do have that, for sure. Yeah, somewhere in your controls, uh, there should be a button that'll that'll tell you which one to hit. Yeah, see this area here I'm not happy with. I gotta change this. I think what we might do is, when I sell everything, I'm gonna take this right here, so the grain gate, and I'm going to put it so that we have to come through here. <coughs> Actually, let's see, since we have the bridge here, hold on, we're going to have to modify that. So let's put this, let's put this like this here. So we're going to have this dirt road run through like that. Yeah, so what we'll do is I'll have to turn this and put the grate like maybe right in here so that when you come in you could just turn this way go around here drop and then roll out yeah we'll do that Daft Phoenix in the house what's up Daft how you been brother good to see you man I got your thing there too, Tatico. Yeah, the missus is sleeping. We'll have to let we'll hit her up when she gets up. You're doing good? Awesome, brother. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Hope you have a great weekend this weekend. We were talking about... Um, uh, what you call it? Um, we were talking about some movies earlier today too. We were talking about the new Avatar. We want to check that out. We were talking about um, favorite ice cream. I know some folks were bringing up the favorite ice cream scenario. So. <coughs> You go into four, right? Oh, you're off today. Even. 
Oh, so you're off three days. Nice. There you go. So you get to chill and have some fun. Uh, since you mentioned ice cream, we picked up the ice cream. <laughs> That's awesome, Queen. Now, the question is, which one did you guys get? We know cookie dough is in there, right? You gave my son a follow? Oh, no kidding. Oh, what, did somebody do a shout out for my son earlier? That's cool. I appreciate that, Tina. Thank you. Yeah, so we know cookie dough. Oh, you got the ice cream bars. Okay. Oh, that's that's just as good, too. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll sell the contents of what's in the silo. We'll rotate those. Um, yeah, do we want to, you know, I'm just wondering if we're going to be able to fit all of them the way I want to there. I may have to rethink that, and I may have to... Maybe put that somewhere else. Like maybe over here. Maybe this section would be better because then I could fit. What do we have over there? About six, seven, four. We got eight. So I might be able to put that over here instead. And we'll do something. Do something different over here. <coughs> okay. Well, it's something to think about. But, yeah, and we'll have we'll have bigger silos uh, across the map. Because we're going to have more area that's opened up. That we can work with. I just can't English today. <laughs> okay, so... Wait, the tree harvester on Black Mountain cuts 400 centimeter trees? Okay. Yeah, we like to see those trees. Some you can't. Okay. Yeah, correct. So, right, some channels you won't be able to see unless you're a part of the team. Correct. <laughs> oh, snap. Tony, coming in with the raid. What's up, Tony Miff? Hey, Joe Anders, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> So, there goes Mr. Tony Myth. Thank you very much for that raid, Tony. Tony, one of the members of the Rough Riders community over there. Great group of people. Um, you definitely want to go check them out. Appreciate you, Tony, for coming in. Thank you very much. Let's get a tremendous, tremendous hello for Tony. <laughs> First time chat from Uncle. What's up, buddy? That got me laughing. Who wants to know what Tony sta or uh, what Dad D A J L stands for, huh? Well, from what I remember, it's don't ask, just listen, crew, right? I think I remember that correctly, right, Tony? <laughs> yeah, we said that. Uh, hey, Joe Andrews, let's make sure we get Joe and everybody a shot. Well. You guys know the deal. Everybody get the shout out. <clears throat> Just getting your day started, Joe? Okay, brother. 
But yeah, so Uncle Plus One hitting the follow, Cowboy Farmer hitting the follow. Thank you guys. Welcome in. Appreciate y'all coming in with the raid, with the follows. I'm truly blessed. You guys rock. Tony, thank you so much for sharing your community over here uh, for the couple of years that we've known each other now. Um, really thankful. Uh, Tony's been a longtime friend of the channel. We've got, you know, since we first met to now, we both got a lot of different things happening and going on, not just in our personal lives, but streaming and stuff. So uh, we don't really get to hang out like we did before. But, you know, not that that's a good thing, but it's a good thing in the sense that, you know, just life changes, things happen. You know, you got more responsibility to do certain things. And, um, you know, but me and Tony go back a year and a half, I guess, two years now. So, uh, but Tony's good people and all the folks over there at the Rough Riders have always been awesome to our channel. And I always try to get in with them and, you know, say hello and hang out when I can. So, uh, yeah, we always appreciate them. But, yeah, so for anybody who doesn't know, and we do from time to time throw this out there, the DAJL people have asked, I'll give you the, not the short, short version, but not the long version will fall in the middle. So when I first started to play on Xbox, which is only, what, about 15 years ago now? I have not been a long time gamer. I didn't game when I was little. And I just started, like I said, it's maybe about 15 years ago. When I got my Xbox, you got to create a gamer tag. So I went on and I tried to create a gamer tag. Every single name I put in was telling me it was taken. And this went on for almost an hour. So, you know, imagine you, you want to get in, you want to play a game, and, and for an hour you can't even create a name that somebody else hasn't already created. And I didn't want to put, you know, just like, uh, you know, Joe Smith 792413, right? I wanted to have, you know, a name because none of the numbers were going to mean anything to me. So eventually I said, all right, let me see. So my four children, Domenica, Asa, Jotham, and Leah, in order, D-A-J-L. That's in the order of their, when they were born. So I said, well, the chances of somebody having four kids with the same four initials and using it for their gamer tag are going to be pretty low. So I put in, you know, D-A-J-L for my kids and then the crew. That, that's my crew, right? They're my people. So that is how D-A-J-L crew came to be. But it'll be a good trivia question. Tony was talking about it the other day. We'll have to make it a trivia question somewhere. Maybe you could do that for uh, for the for the wheel. When when you guys do your spins at a wheel, who can tell me what the DHL crew stands for? They can win a prize. <laughs> There we go. We should be back. What's up, Hazmat? How you doing, brother? Tina said, writes down the answer. There you go. That's right. Write it down. You never know. It might come up. Direct authority. Just listen. That's right. Well, yeah, so Tony, the other day, we were in the stream, and uh, I think it was Joe Anders' stream, actually, when he was on the road. And... Uh, yeah, Tony put in, uh, don't ask, just listen. No kidding. I can make you kiss Mrs. Crew 56,000 times. Wow, been there, done that, but I'm sure she'll be up for it again. <laughs> yeah, I was telling everybody, too, my youngest daughter, 
she told me I have to remove that. She said because if people click on it too many times, she doesn't want any uh, any more siblings. Isn't that something? 56, there you go. No, she wouldn't be. Nope, not, not at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tony got way more points than you, Buddha. Tony's been around for a long time. Yeah, like I said, we go back, and it's got to be like two years, because I've been streaming since November 2020. And I think I met Tony either right around then or shortly after. It wasn't too long after either. In fact, I think, what is it, exclamation point followage? I think if you put that in, Tony, it might even tell us. Hey, Tina, you take care. Have a great one. Really appreciate you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what do we got? Two years, 147 days. Yeah, January 2021. And I started in November, so like two months later. Yeah, so it's been a long time. 156 days. Yeah, look how long. Yeah, even daft. Yep. One year, 102 days. There we go. Yep. Joe, we've known for two months. 30 days. So, yeah, you know, that's why we were saying, like, me and Tony, we, we've known each other for a good while. Hazmat, yep. One year, I know, I know, yeah, Hazmat's been for a long time. So, yeah, I mean, you know, everybody's just been absolutely incredible, man. I really appreciate all of you. You know, it's a journey, and along the way, you, uh, Navy, there goes Navy. See, Navy, long time. Navy and, uh, Maiden, Colorado. I think you guys came in around the same time. Uh, weather, I don't think weather's turned on, no. No, I'm not, I don't think so. I'd have to check that, but I don't think it is. One month, 17, there you go. Yeah, in fact, Tony, am I correct in saying I think when when you when me and you first kind of met, I were you doing Xbox at the time or were you making the transition? On warships. PS4, right, right. Okay. Okay, Yoshi. PS4, you're right. Okay, you were on PS4. Gotcha. Yeah, I remember console. I I always default to Xbox because, you know, it's just what we do. But, yeah, you were on the console. Yep. And he still, I think you still, I forget if I've seen it recently, but I, I think I did. One of my favorite, um things that Tony has from from the beginning from a long time ago was the uh, the duck that gets rained down on by an AC-130 <laughs> I don't know why it's still my favorite it's just it, when I first saw it I was cracking up laughing and yeah it's like man the poor duck
three grits, Buddha. Yep. But yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. You had to laugh at that one. All right, let's see. We're going to get, uh, let's do a save here real quick. And we're going to jump in here. We'll let this guy, we'll call it a day for him at the end of this row. We'll let the other one finish off. Yeah, I just remember the first time I saw it. Man, I was laughing so hard. It was funny. So I was like, all right, that's got to be my favorite one so far. <clears throat> Tony. <laughs> you thought it was Tony Milf, huh? Well, what kind of... He, he, was <laughs> he was looking for the hot tub stream, huh? Well, I mean... I, you know, look. So I, Tony might not be... You know, against the old hot tub stream there, if it's going to help him out, he might he might throw it out there. I don't think he'll put it to a vote. You know what I mean? Because we know how that vote will turn out. But he might he might give it some consideration. I mean, we got you know Tuesdays for mod time. Maybe we'll have hot tub time with Tony. And you could say it was all Buddha's idea. <laughs> he said, oh, you I got told there was uh, this hot chick. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, she just signed a big deal over a kick. Along with, um, what's that other dude's name? Q QXD? Right? Something like that. Blame it on you. Correct. XQC? Is that what the name is? Yeah. Psychosis is ready. So, Navy, um, just an FYI, if you didn't hear it earlier... Hey, what's up there, Eric? How you doing, buddy? That makes sense. I was on kick yesterday, and the homepage was all her in my face. Uh, was it really? Um, I mean, her channel's that way, too. <coughs> hey, you know, I guess, whoops, hello. Teach their own, I guess, right? You do what you got to do. Um, Navy, if you're still playing World Warships Legends, um, they just started with clans over there. So if you're interested, we did create a Crusaders clan that, you know, trying to get some folks that want to play some legends. I know it's, it's a little bit limited in how many people play legends, but if you're interested, just hit me up in the discord. We'll get you on there. <clears throat> he said judge away Tony he's ready for it all right all right so let's put you here for now and let's take a look Thinking this guy right here might be the vulture. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll ride along with him, get him off the field when he's done. We'll let those power harrows cultivate and make our seed bed. And then this field will be prepped up. We can kind of be ready to think about what we want to put there next. <coughs> So once again, guys, I'm going to try, if I can, to watch the new Avatar this weekend uh, if we have time. Well, actually, no, this weekend won't work, will it? Because kids aren't, two of the kids aren't here. 
Well, we'll see. I did start watching Modern Family. Anybody out there a Modern Family fan? Dude, Modern Family's pretty funny. It's a weird sense of humor. It's kind of dry, but it's pretty funny. I never saw it. So I I saw it on, uh, what was it, Peacock, I think it's on. So I said, all right, let me go check it out. And uh, my favorite character is Phil. That dude's hilarious. He's just stupid, but he's, he's just too funny. <laughs> yeah, you got the Sophia. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's a pretty good show. I've, I've been digging it so far. Metro Exodus 598 coming in with the follow. What's up, Metro? How you doing, buddy? Appreciate you coming in with that follow. Welcome to the crew. Great to see you. She could uh, visit me around anytime. I'd be in trouble. Yeah, I got you. Haven't played much worship. It's been grinding Destiny and now grind. You're on Diablo, Navy? Oh, yo, cuz. Dude, we're, me and Jaffa, uh, we're going to try and run Diablo today, tomorrow, and Sunday. We, me and Jaffa try to get together every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm usually on it a couple times during the week. Oh, dude, you got to send me your battle net info. We got to get you in. I mean, unless you're already with a group and doing your thing. First time chat from the Raider. Thank you, Metro, for coming in with uh, Tony's raid there and hanging out and uh, for smashing that follow button. I really appreciate it, man. Means a ton, Timmy. And just so you're aware, we do play other games. Um, we, we've we been trying to get into some, a couple more games to add a little bit of variety. Uh, we do Diablo. The third game, I'm not too sure where we're getting on that just yet. That's going to be up in the air. <clears throat> you have a 56 sort oh dude i just made 61 sort actually no i am a smidge away from making 61 sort i was on it last night but i got tired whirlwind hunter yo what's up buddy how are you pal Oh, the Spanish lady at work yells at you. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you just picture Sofia, Ver Sofia Vergara when she's yelling at you? Is that how you get through it? <laughs> Still trying to make 58? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yo, um, Navy, you got you to gotta join us, bro. See, that's pretty cool. Now, you have a lightning build. I have a uh, frost build. And Jaffa was working on flame. I don't know if he switched it over yet or not. Hey, Master Prime. Yeah, so, dude, I would love to see what that looks like. That would be incredible. He's like, but I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, the fire build, it's really weird. I, I guess, you know what I'm thinking? I bet you the fire build, once you do 
a lot of paragons and you get the aspects built and you get the you know level 60 gear 65 ish maybe I bet you it starts to take shape there <clears throat> Yeah, you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, slow down. Whoa, 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 what's up with my face? What do you mean? Yeah, the man, the, right, the mana regen on that is is good. Correct. Yeah, but Navy, if you you know if you want to join us, bro, we're I I love playing the game with multiple people. It's way more fun. We have a great time. Jaffa and I are going to go at it when we play with specific things in mind like I have almost the entire map opened up there's only I think three um, waypoints that I have to get but like you know one day we want to go at all the strongholds you know another day we want to go at the tree of whispers and the hell tides you know we want to do the nightmare dungeons right She's down at the end of July. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, she, like, makes your day fun, you know? And now she won't be there. That kind of blows. But, yeah, Navy, if you're down, bro, we're going to be playing shortly. Um, and then we'll be playing throughout the weekend. So if you're up for it... <clears throat> Please just send me your Battle.net info in the Discord, and I'll send you the friend request, and uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. And anybody else, too, if you play Diablo 4 and you want to join us, we did create a clan. Um, we have about, <clears throat> what, about four, four or five people right now in the clan. And, you know, we're looking to grow more, looking for more people to want to run and play and have a good time in the game. So if you're thinking about getting Diablo, or if you do have it, please hit us up. Uh, we do stream it on the weekends. So... You know, we're always looking for people to run with us. Now that we completed the story, too, and we're into Tier 3, um, there's just so much more to do. So, you should be around. All right, Navy, sounds good, brother. Okay, Mulchin's done. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to clean this up, get it fueled up, repaired, and we'll get that put away. ATS for you tonight? Okay, Queen. Sounds good. <coughs> One of these days, we got to get, uh, I'll have to try and get things squared away with that, too, to get you guys, uh, to get with you guys. Yeah. Because that would be fun. ATS and ETS, they're fun games.
All right, we're almost done with the <clears throat> almost done with the mulch and the seed bed here too. Uh, I don't think I could handle. Nope, I'd have to be in the rearview mirror on that one. <laughs> Right, King. I have to. I have to watch that one ahead of me, and then work my way around it. <laughs> Be a lot of driving up on the hillside and the median there to get around. Am I saying you're a swift driver? Um, I think you're a drift driver. I think we can call that, right, Queen? I, think <laughs> I don't want to lump you in with the drift drivers. They're just terrible. They're <laughs> I think you have your own category. Yeah, I think that's what it is. We have, we have you in your own category. It's just drift racing in you know ATS you're trying to you're trying to get something new started that's how I see it Yeah, exactly, right? BRB, copy that Buddha. Never mind, read it wrong. Okay, no worries, no worries. Oh, excuse me. All right, guys, so let's do this. We we have been on for a long time. It's been amazing. Let's get ready to do a raid here. And there is a little wreck fest in there. That's true. There is a little wreck fest for sure. Uh, I would appreciate if all of you have come along for the raid here. We were talking about some, uh, some Diablo. So we're going to go raid somebody I've been... Uh, kind of hanging with with Diablo for I don't know maybe maybe two months um, we'll go over there check them out they're very high level in the game they're
very advanced in the game, so you can see some of the higher end stuff and how things are going to be if you play Diablo 4 once we get to that stage. But if you all could come in for the raid, I'd really appreciate it. Let's show some uh, farm sim love and some crusader love and community love. So, uh, guys, I want to thank you so much for coming out. And uh, I really appreciate everybody, all the follows, the raids that we got. Uh, you guys have been tremendous, the subs, the bits. I, you know, Mr. Swede, if you hear me in the chat, thank you for helping out today on the farm. I know you don't feel well. Uh, to my moderators, thank you so much. Today's been an amazing day. I hope to see you all again soon. Be good, be safe, be blessed, and most important, keep on gaming. We will see you again. Let's get this raid started. Have a great one. This is Crew, and I'm out.